bit rate, bit rate, bit rate, bit rate, bit rate. All right, cool. And hello, and welcome back to the stream. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, a bright sunny day, even though it's seven o'clock. On you know how daylight we did daylight savings time, so now it's a lot brighter out. Uh, I guess that's nice. I suppose I don't know. Dealing with daylight daylight savings time is uh, not worth the trouble. Um, even though the uh, it was actually a couple days after daylight savings, um, uh, until I noticed that it had happened because I didn't really have anything going on for a couple days, so I was like. I wasn't, I didn't have to deal with time. So I was just like, eh, I don't care about what time I get up for those couple of days or what I'm doing at what time. So I just didn't really notice. And obviously if I did need to check the time, my computer and my phone automatically changed. So I was like, I got my car one day. I'm like, the car doesn't say the correct time on it. I was like, oh, it's daylight savings time. So, you know, a stu again, I feel like we definitely get rid of that now. Um, I thought, I thought the United States was as a whole getting rid of that, but I guess not yet. Anyway, um, Pokemon Fire Red version. Isn't that swell? Uh, let us get that booted up. Please, OBS, capture in a quick and timely manner. I would have very much appreciate it. Um, I almost had a heart attack. Okay, um, let me go to studio mode. I wish I had a, uh, a stream deck. I will go to here. I will try to get it to capture properly. I will go like this, please. Why is it trying to capture my Microsoft Teams? Listen, I just, I, I, I noticed, I noticed that, um, here we go. Thought you can see anyone now. Uh, I noticed that the uh, Microsoft uh, Office were giving out permanent licenses a couple weeks back, and so I bought that because I was, didn't have that on this PC. Um, so now I have that. That's cool. Um, considering I do not want to pay a monthly subscription for or yearly subscription for Office. Also, um, this is gonna be the second stream where I am. Right, it's dinner time for me. I've been able to do get. I've been able to do a pretty good job of not eating while I'm streaming, but I also know that it's not 100% something I can avoid, especially when I do it in the evening and sometimes uh, we eat late. So there is that. Um, now, last time I ate while I streamed, uh, I think it was during a Dark Souls stream, and the internet died. But the internet dies anyway, so I don't think I really need to look into that. Um, anyway, what we're doing now is. Pretty obvious. We get to do the uh, electric gym leader. Oh boy, my favorite gym. It's pretty stupid, actually. Uh, we're gonna save uh, the Geodude for last. Uh, yeah. And I, I have my food over here on the side. I just, like, it's not that I, like, I understand that it's kind of just the, the nature of streaming and streamers, like, kind of eat. It's just, for me, kind of weird. It's not something I'm definitely getting used to. That, like, of course, the people who stream for, like, 12 hours a day um, are going to do it. But to me, it's a new experience, certainly. But, you know, must be done. For now, I can at least put my bowl to the right and uh, be off camera for just a couple seconds. Though I don't mind uh, taking a sip of water because that I have to do anyway because I, I always make sure I have water for a stream because the, or else my throat starts to get really dry talking for three hours straight. Um, anyway, the only guy we're not going to want to fight in here obviously is War Turtle because duh. Uh, hmm, I wonder if we should send out our water type against electric type. Probably not. Um, and again, Kadabra just showing it's the fact that Kadabra is a good Pokemon. Uh, just hit it with a stab move and the Pokemon dot. Eh? Oh, he doesn't like Voltorb and Electrode have decent special defense. I think so. Um, Magnemite? Okay, we'll swap out for this. Uh, mostly because I'm pretty sure. So. 
Actually, you know what? Why not? Uh, it, electric uh, steel doesn't resist water. We got water pulse. So maybe stab water pulse can one shot it. Maybe. We're not that lucky. Oh, he also uses sonic boom, which granted still does a lot of damage. But you know, we'll get some experience on uh, War Turtle here. Since we're going to be using. We're going to be using Geodude exclusively for the uh, gym leader. I mean, I could try to use Kadabra. In fact, here, let me switch to Gloom here. Give Gloom some experience. See if we can get them some non Geodude experience on the gym leader. You know, gotta spread around the love. And Pikachu. And I sure do love Pikachu, am I right? Man, it sure is a, a cool mascot for the series. Um. Okay, so Acid actually is stronger. Oh, wait, oh, right, but it's a physical attack. I should... What's... Okay. Uh, what is uh, Gloom's physical attack stat? It's not terrible compared to a special attacking stat, but I think that it's not that big of a... Or it's not big enough of a difference to the point where I think Acid would still do more damage considering it's half power. And again, so half power means that Stab is going to be 30 versus six, um, 60, which is pretty significant. I guess we can use Absorb here. Yeah, okay, whatever. We're going to... You, you kill all the Gym Leader trainers, and then you go back to the Pokemon Center, and then you go fight the Gym Leader. That's how you do these things. All right, how many times... You know, it's a, I think it's a 25% chance. So are we going to get paralyzed, fully paralyzed a third time? No? Okay. I see if you decided to change your ways. Whatever. Hucker. Yeah, sure. Um. Anyway, uh, so. Man, we already had. So. We already had the long conversation about what I think is the best Pokemon game last time. So, again, I kind of. I'm not really good at waffling, at least not yet. It's certainly something is with streaming that I feel like I might become better at doing so on and so forth, having a continuous stream of consciousness, continuous topics. It's kind of what you want to be able to do, to do right? Just keep, like, you, you gotta be entertaining. Uh, you gotta react to the content. Um, the po again, Pokemon's pretty, I'm pretty much been on um, autopilot this whole time. It's not that hard when you're not doing a Nuzlocke or something. Uh, so I've been mostly trying to keep it to Pokemon related stuff. I guess we can keep a uh, gloom at the front of the party. Uh, because, you know, he resists electric type attacks, and I think he leads with Pikachu. Um, I kind of want to talk about the competitive Pokemon scene, because I, I did bring that up a couple times yesterday. And I mentioned that, uh... Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, I hate this. This gym is so stupid. Um, anyway, I mentioned yesterday that, like, for instance, Gen 7 is one of my favorite generations just because I prefer the, um... Gen... Okay, I did it again! Okay. Okay, we got... The first time I didn't accidentally make a stupid mistake, we got it first try. Good stuff. Alright, uh... Yeah, anyway, let's go fight the, the guy who references that he was in a war to use Pokemon during it. Um... The only other reference to war, I'm pretty sure, was in X and Y. Uh, but yeah, competitive. So, I don't remember if I mentioned the weaknesses or the benefits of different competitive uh, uh, generations, in my opinion. Basically, the way I see it is... Oh wow, a critical hit, and it did almost no damage. Again, we resisted, so it's all good. Um... I think I mentioned that Gen 1 is kind of fun if you just were messing around, giving the fact that there's all that annoying bug stuff, but it, it's kind of just funny to experience. Uh, the Gen 2 competitive scene sucks. Um, oh, and also let me clarify, I hate doubles. I do not like doubles. Doubles sucks. I like singles. So basically the main Smogon format, um, doubles would be the main um, uh, like actual Pokemon company uh, competitive format. But I hate doubles. Doubles is so uninteresting to me. 
You just, it's all about like double teaming stuff down. Oh sure, it, you can get unlucky because your opponent uses protect, which is why protect's really good in uh, doubles. But uh, I, I, it's just, I just don't, I don't like doubles. It's just not interesting to me. Now singles, also because you only use a team of four in doubles, which is like, I want to use a whole team of Pokemon if I'm doing competitive. Uh, so that's why I like singles. So when I talk about competitive Pokemon, I'm talking about singles. Um, so Gen 2 is extremely boring, in my opinion. I know it's, I know it's not exclusively stall and sl slow, um, no, I'm not going to see. I have potions for that. Um, uh, I don't know it's not exclusively stall and slow Pokemon, but it certainly feels that way, and there's no other generation that feels like a complete grind fest. There's no other generation like Gen 2 where it feels that slow. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, well, please get magnitude 8 or something and hit. I don't know if this is enough to kill. Probably not, considering we're a Geodude. Yep. But yeah, Generation 2 competitive sucks. Um, Gen 3 competitive, fine. But I don't really have much to say about it. It's kind of just there. And again, uh, I said that um, anything pre-Generation 4 before the physical special split is just not as interesting to me. So... That start, so really the first generation that I think is worth playing, besides kind of Gen 1 for messing around, is... Oh, hey, we're getting our Geodude Evolution, that's cool. Um, is Generation 1. Or is Generation 4. Now, is Generation 4... interesting competitively? It's kind of fun. It's got that... The whole, the whole idea of the lead meta, um, with the whole introduction of Stealth Rocks, Stealth Rocks being completely omnipresent, uh, be, this is before but a fog, so the only way of uh uh Juliet Smith, I appreciate the follow. Um But anyway, what was I saying? Something uh right. The lead meta is cool. And certainly though before the existence of team preview preview in Gen 5, it certainly makes a certain different style of Pokemon, because in OU and Ubers, which are the two uh tiers of competitive I pay attention to the most. But uh, in OU and Ubers, the fact that it ha you have to play around like Deoxys Speed and uh, Infernape and like a Azelf, I think is an OU, an OU lead staple. Machamp, I think is an OU lead staple. I haven't played a lot of four Gen 4 OU, it's just def definitely a really distinct thing. And if you win the lead battle or war or whatever, you're definitely in a much better position than your opponent. Um. Gen 5. Gen 5 is a weird one, because if you look at OU, it is the weather generation. Every other thing, it's just kind of its own... It's just like any other generation, if you look at any tier besides OU. OU, though, it's all about Politoed, um, Tyranitar, Hippowdon, um, Ninetales if you're feeling frisky, um, or Abomasnow if you're feeling even more frisky. Um, I don't know why you would use a so it seems a bit strange to me, but uh, Hail has never been a good weather until Gen 7. Gen 7, they started adding abilities and moves to make Hail not a complete waste of time. Um, because, yeah, Hail sucked for a long time. But playing around with infinite weather is certainly an interesting thing. Obviously, Rain gets the most benefit. Rain has the most things going for it. Uh, water is inherently a pretty strong typing anyway. Um, and, that's what, and then, of course, you've got stuff like Swift Swim and uh, Rain Dish and a couple other abilities. But obviously, Swift Swim, I'm pretty sure was, any Pokemon with Swift Swim was banned in Gen 5, so there is also that. Because, um, you know, it makes sense. Just having a Pokemon naturally getting 0.1.5. 1.5 times speed is pretty strong. So, kind of had to stop that. So the Sand teams, again, were also pretty powerful in Gen 5, but then they also banned uh, Excadrill, I think, because he had Sand Rush or something, which is the Sand equivalent of uh, Swift Swim. 
And then Sun is also there, but Sun is so kind of meh that I don't think they ban any Chlorophyll users. Uh, and what's the only other Sun ability? Uh, solar Power, I think, and not very many people get that. I know Charizard has Solar Power as a hidden ability, uh, but I also know that Charizard was the best Pokemon in Gen 5 UU, which I don't pay attention to UU too much. Uh, did I remember to pick up Flash, by the way? I hope I did. Um, because we are going to need it here in a second. Uh, uh, I guess Acid here is neutral damage, and what's he going to do to me? Hey, we even got a defense drop. I kind of forgot that... Oh yeah, we're not immune to powders as a grass type yet. That kind of sucks. So, hey, what are you going to do? All right, Gen is next competitive. <coughs> that did not go down the control correctly. Um, Gen 6 competitive. The first generation where I was actually paying attention to competitive. Um, also, the generation that introduced Mega Evolution, which is... um. <sighs> Why did they have to... Okay, I understand. Z-moves were kind of boring, and I personally didn't like them. But at least in Gen 7, they still had Mech Evolution. Why did they have to get rid of it? Not passing... Having not played Gen 8... Sucked. Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. I don't remember which, which one's the one where it changes form and which one's that just gets bigger. But, um... Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing just look so boring and stupid. Um, and it also didn't... You didn't get any cool new abilities. Uh, you didn't change possibly types. It was it was just not... It just wasn't interesting. Um, but... Mega Evolution was good. Mega Evolution was a very good concept. Giving certain Pokemon like Mawile um, a second chance at life. Kangaskhan a second chance at life. Uh, who else? Uh, Pidgeot a second chance at life. All these cool Mega Evolutions are just a bunch of Pokemon. Uh, I'm trying to think of others. Um, so there's certainly, there were certain Pokemon that really didn't need it, like Garchomp. In fact, I think Garchomp's Mega Evolution is worse because he gets slower. But Garchomp, Metagross, Tyranitar, Salamance, any of the pseudo-legendaries that got a uh, Mega Evolution didn't certainly need it. Uh, did Blue level up, by the way? Yes. All right, swap. Swap to War Turtle. And did we pick up Flash? Time to see if I have to go back through Diglett's cave. I did. Okay, um... I guess we should... I guess we're going to be teaching something to Kadabra, because... We can always forget it later, but I definitely need to teach... Someone Flash, because... Oh, sure, I could look up a map, um, and follow the map for... Uh... Dark Cave, but that doesn't sound like any fun. So let's not do that. Anyway, uh... Oh, hey, Hiker. That's good. We're leaving with War Turtle. But yeah, the Evolutions, I think, was a very good concept. Again, like, it, it makes... I'm trying to think... So, all the Pokemon that really benefited actually became meta-viable. Um... Mawile, Kangaskhan, Metacham... Uh, Sableye... Uh, Lopunny... Um... Who else? Who else? Audino, kind of. Um, it's a shame that Audino is the only uh, Gen 5 Mega Evolution. I will, okay. You take what you can get. Um, uh, I suppose Blastoise, Venusaur, Charizard, to certain varying degrees. Um, Sceptile is certainly way better. I think regular Sceptile kind of sucked. Regular Swampert had its uses, and then obviously Blaziken with Speed Boost is still in Ubers, because Speed Boost Blaziken is just way too powerful. No, we're not learning Rapid Spin. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else that I can think of off the top of my head. I already said all the Ubers that really didn't need it. Um, obviously, Rayquaza didn't need... Uh, we can teach...
please tell me you can learn this. Okay, thank god. Because I'm pretty sure, from what I remember, Pidgeotto does not get any better flying type. Uh, oh, I think it get, gets Wing Attack, but Aerial Ace is just Wing Attack, but better, because it's the same base power, but it's not- it's guaranteed to hit. Would also give us a more powerful move to use right now. Instead of waiting for Wing Attack. There's no one else I'd want to teach Aerial Ace anyway. So why not? Again, that's the, very much the benefit of just doing a cat kind of a casual quick run through of we're not planning on doing anything cool in this is that you don't really need to save your TMs. You can use whatever you want. No reason to, to you know, uh, preserve your resources. Uh, if we were if we were building a competitive team again, which it, it, it is theoretically possible, I wouldn't mind doing it at some point. It's just not. Certainly an activity that where I'd want um, viewer interaction. We would save stuff like that. Or if we find like PP ups or whatever, we can use those too. But I don't know if we have any moves yet where PP ups would be something I'd want to use. So we'd hold on to them for now. Cool. Uh, thanks for the money, kid. No, oh, bug trainer. How original. We are... At least these are fully evolving them. Anyway, so Gen 6. Uh, besides, so outside of Mega Evolutions, I suppose, just had to cover that topic real quick, was actually how Gen 6 played out. So I'd say the biggest two changes... Okay, now scratch it. The biggest three changes to Gen 6, besides Mega Evolutions, obviously, was... Firstly, obviously, the biggest one was Fairy Types. Woo, Fairy Types. So... Fairy typing is very much a positive um, addition to Pokemon. They don't feel... Com fairy typing now certainly is a strong typing, but they don't feel overtuned, so to say. Uh, it certainly helps that there's another counter to Dragon, especially considering one of the best counters to Dragon was Steel, and the other big change in that generation was Steel getting nerfed. Hidden item here. It looked out of place, so I gotta check. Uh, Steel lost its resistance to Ghost and Dark in Gen 6, which is probably... It was fine, considering the fact that, again, uh, Steel already had an insane amount of resistances. And even with this nerf, uh, it doesn't really change anything. Steel's still really good. But it definitely did change things. It also made Steel better offensively, because, obviously... Uh, fairy resists. Bad timing on the swap in. Okay, uh, Gloom, I guess. But yeah, still super effective against um, fairy, and then it also, of course, it made poisons actually a relevant attacking type because fairies were running around. Uh, and OU Xerneas was one of the most powerful Pokemon in Gen six and I think Gen seven. And poison finally having a use as some another way to get rid of. Uh, Fairy types. So Pokemon like Gengar, who would never run Sludge Bomb before, would finally have to say reason to say, yeah, sure, it would before only be good for grass types, but now fairy types are also uh, uh, something you need to think about. And then the last major change. I actually forgot, I said there were three major changes. It was the nerfing of steel type, the introduction of fairies, and Shoot, what was I going to say? What was the last thing I was going to talk about? Uh, the move... Oh, Defog. Right. So, just the changes to Defog, making it so that Defog can now remove hazards. Kind of... If I try... If I ever try to build a competitive team, I'd much rather make a team using Rapid Spin instead of Defog, because using hazards is good. I don't like getting murdered my own hazards. If they're loaded, weighed down by stealth rocks and sticky webs and spikes and toxic spikes and all that jazz, it's great. Why would I want to get rid of my own? But certainly it's good to have Defog on a team if you don't plan on using hazards at all. Because Defog can go on a lot more guys, and then in Gen 7 they made Defog go on even a lot more guys. Er. 
Weedle. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's give, uh, Graveler our first, his first time to come out and shine. Not very impressive back sprite, I'll tell you that. Be nice to have a better rock type move, too. I don't, in fact, I'm just th now thinking about it, I don't think Graveler gets any good rock type moves. In this game. The best rock type move, the most consistent best rock type move I like for a story Pokemon, like a single player Pokemon playthrough, would be Rock Slide. Stone Edge is good for, for competitive, but not so much good for single player, I find. I much have rock, have rock Slide, but I don't think Graveler gets it, which sucks. Wait, I forgot to see if I wanted to swap any Pokemon around. Also, I need to switch. I need to switch, um, Pidgeotto's Aerial Ace to the front. Okay, I definitely want to be using someone else. Up front. And yeah, I need to swap this. So anyway, yeah, Gen 6. It's a good generation. I think Gen 7 is better. For sure. Let's see what he's switching into, so we're gonna go with good old Kadabra. Also, the dark type, I'm not worried. Okay, I'm not worried. I suppose uh, Steel type would have been a problem. But yeah, I think Gen 7 is better. The wider access to the fog, even though I'm not a fan of Z moves, the introductions of Z moves giving more depth to certain Pokemon that didn't have Mega Evolutions certainly helped. Um, what else? Uh, the introduction of regional forms is pretty cool. Making Alolan Marowak, making, uh, who else is cool? Alolan Raichu is cool, making... I don't think of other cool regional forms. Alolan Executor is cool. I don't know if they're... Com they're not, like, all of them necessarily competitively viable. Well, definitely Alolan, uh... Nine Kills is good, with the... Sets Hail and also has the Roar Veil, making Hail actually really strong. You mean, I get Light Screen and Reflect in one move? That's pretty good. The only thing is, if you use a Light Clay and Hail only lasts for five turns, does Aurora Veil last after the Hail disappears? I don't know that, actually. Oh, yeah. Also, switch this with this. All right. Well, oh, yeah. So, who's going to evolve next? That's a great question. Um, He's at, like, 36. He's at something, like... 32, or 34, 36, um, these two will evolve, don't worry about it. Uh, and then this, I need to look at Gloom's level up moveset before we get a Leaf Stone, but I don't think. Uh, actually, what are the wild Pokemon here? Again, I'm, I think I know where our next team member is, we're getting to him, but I want to just double check what's here. Just, this is where you get Ekans if you want an, uh, an Arbok. Not the most interesting Pokemon, I'll tell you that. So, nothing there, really. Who do we have in the front? Graveler? Against the Hiker? Uh... Hikers use Machop and Geodude at Onyx and Sandshrew. Uh, I should be able to deal with them. I mean, Magnitude's super effective. And then with Sandshrew... I suppose we can always swap out if we want. Unless we've already figured out what the first one is. Um, yeah, but I think Gen 7 was peak competitive generation. Uh, all the stuff like the Ultra Beasts, the new, the new Tapus are cool. Um, the... Again, wider access to Defog. Um, what else? Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Zygarde Complete and, um, what's it... The Krosma Maximum Brightness or whatever. Uh, those two are pretty cool. I like them. Maximum Brightness. That's not his name at all. It's, uh, it's Necrozma... It's not Duskmane and... Duskmane and Dawnwings, I think, for their... Uh, Lunala and Solgaleo forms. And I know Duskmane's really strong, defensively. But I don't remember... What is... It's Necrozma... Very bright, have fun, does a lot of damage. 
psychic dragon type. It's, uh, it's not Zygarde. It's not Necrozma complete. That's Zygarde. It's something, all right. I just can't remember. Anyway, yeah, Gen 7. I feel like it's so good. And it was, again, the last time before they started cutting content. Also, something that's kind of annoying. I know they cut Hidden Power in Generation 8. Why couldn't they have made Hidden Power Fairy? I know oh, we've kind of had to tweak how the, 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 the values for how you get your Hidden Power. Okay, tweak the values for how you get your Hidden Power so there was a Hidden Power of every type. Kind of always felt weird to me. I don't know how useful Hidden Power, power Fairy would be, but it felt like Hidden Power was lacking something. And then Gen 8. I have not heard much about Gen uh, 9 competitive, but from what I paid attention to about Gen 7 or 8 competitive, Heavy Duty Boots is a stu- I don't like Heavy Duty Boots, in my opinion. It doesn't look very good. Uh, I don't like the the fact that moves were taken out. I don't like that Dynamaxing is a thing. I don't like that Z-Moves was taken out. I don't like that Mega Illusions was taken out. I don't like that Pokemon were taken out. It just feels like such a waste. Pokemon has gone definitely downhill. Uh, you're a aid. I'm not gonna have that. I don't even have, um... Or I don't even want Neverstone, so there's also that. Okay, so... Money do we have? I kind of want to run back for some repels. 42,000, we are going to run back for some repels. We've dealt with all the trainers, so it's not... It's not an ask at all. It's a very simple procedure, actually. Uh, nope, actually, we need to go this way. Gen 8. And it just, it fills me with dread. Absolute dread and sadness to see what happened to Pokemon. Especially in the competitive scene. And then in Gen um, 9, obviously, there's the terastalizing. I don't know enough about it to, to posit if I think it's a good idea or a bad idea. It's just, they took out Dynamaxing and, and Gigantamaxing again. And sure, I didn't like those mechanics, but... Why? They can all coexist. There's no problem with them crossing over. Not what I cared about. Why do you have to cut this content? I, it, it's kind of the same. It's, it's along the same idea of people saying, um, if Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there's that whole po following Pokemon mechanic, which sure is also in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee now. It's not a mechanic that really added anything, but why did they have to take it out? I don't I'm not someone clamoring for following Pokemon to come back. But why did they have to take it out? Why did they have to stop providing a Battle Frontier? Why did they have to stop making good post games? Why did they stop... Um, why couldn't they have given us a Pokemon World Tournament in every game? Why did they have to take Hard Mode out after Black and White 2? Why did they have to do all of these things? Because they're lazy. They know people will buy the games anyway, even if they don't do these things. That is 100% the, um, the rationale, because people are stupid. People are going to say, oh man, the new Pokemon game looks terrible, I'm going to buy it anyway. I'm going to still say it's fun in the moment, because yeah, it's Pokemon. F Pokemon will be, it's one of those games where it's going to be fun in the moment. You get to make your team and all that, but the quality has fallen so far that I don't see any reason why I should support it at all. When we get around to playing uh, Sword and Shield, will I have time, points in time where I think, yeah, this is this is a fun moment. This is a this Pokemon is this cool. I like this Pokemon. Yes, that'll happen. But at what cost, right? That's the problem. At what cost? And I'd say the cost is too high. Pokemon has completely shifted bed, in my opinion. It it is not a franchise any which has its soul anymore, and. Speaking of Nintendo, Fire Emblem certainly seems to be heading in that direction. We don't need to heal our Pokemon. Fire Emblem certainly seems to be heading in that direction for me, and I don't like it. Um, my first game was Birthright. I thought Birthright was cool at the time. I now think Birthright is a, a boring, uninteresting game. I played Awakening, found that uninterest, uninteresting. I found played Three Houses, I found that completely terrible. 
Uh, no, not completely terrible, but pr not great. I played Fire Emblem 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And El Echoes, whatever number that is, and those are all good. Really good, actually. What's happening? What's happening? And I... That... Okay, so... The one benefit to gaming is there will always be intim imitators. I almost said intimidators, like the Pokemon ability. No. There's always going to be imitators that are better than the people making. Ah, okay, like I said, what? There's an old saying. As a video game collector, I know stuff about old video games. And there was a old, back when Sega was a thing. There was an old um, slogan Sega would use called Sega does what Nintendo. The new saying should be indie games do what Nintendo because people were clamoring for, for instance, a Paper Mario game, a new Paper Mario game like uh, Thousand Year Door. Now, I've never played any Paper Mario games, but I've heard the arguments for why they think uh, the new Paper Mario games post Thousand Year Door aren't as good. I've heard Super Paper Mario is good, though. Um, just different. Anyway, um... And an indie developer made a game called Bug Fables. I saw stuff about it because certain... I saw videos about people saying, Oh, it's the new, basically the new Paper Mario game. I'm like, yeah, leave it to indie developers. And... Uh... When... It seemed like Advance Wars was dead, though I suppose we're getting the remakes of 1 and 2 now. When it seemed like Advance Wars was dead, they came, there was a studio that came without, like, with a fantasy version of Advance Wars. I don't remember what it's called. Um, so that's cool. Uh, where are our repels? Here we go. Oh man, again, we don't get to... It's not going to automatically ask us if we want to use a new repel until Black and White 2, which sucks, but... Thanks. I appreciate it. And, okay, we'll think about other series. Um, Pikmin? I don't know if there have any Pik been Pikmin uh, indie games. Mostly because they did promise Pikmin 4, and it seems like that's finally coming out too. Also, whenever a series I played. Uh, the whole Metroidvania genre as a whole, considering the fact that Nintendo has let Metroid play dormant many times, and Castlevania is dead. Like, 100%. There is... The Castle, I, if Castlevania comes back as with Metroid Mania games, I will be quite surprised. And the guy who made Castlevania split off and made his own studio uh, to make Castlevania games, which... What were those called again? It's with the lady, the girl. Um, uh, and it had a, a, a an 8-bit prequel or something. Whatever. Um, I don't really have a good Pokemon for Slow Pokemon, since Gloom is not going to do a lot of damage to it. Whatever, that exists. Um, and even with the case of not Nintendo, when Mega Man was in its massive drought, even though it wasn't a good game, they came out with, what, Mighty Mighty Number no. 9, which was apparently terrible. But at least there were people trying. Though again, Mega Man 11 came out, and then they've also been coming out with... Thousand. They've come out with Mega Man like collections for like, like uh, original Mega Man. They came out with the X. They came out with um, the Zero series and the X. They came out with um, oh, and also Mega Man games. I played like I played the first two original Mega Man games. I've never played any others though. And they come out with the Battle Network, or I think they're about to come out with the Battle Network um, collection. Are we gonna get Star Force and Legends for those guys? Are we gonna get? Any of the other side games? Like, I know there's a Mega Man soccer game. I have no clue what the relevance of it is, but I know it exists. Uh, we're gonna get... Are there any other Mega Man games that matter? I know, so I know it's Classic Series, X Series, Zero Series. ZX is part of Zero, kind of, apparently. I don't know. Um, Legends, Battle Network, Star Force. I think that's it. I think X has some RPG spinoff. God damn it. Uh, Alright, we'll use Acid. I think Acid will definitely get more damage than Absorb. I guess we're trying it out. Okay, I take back what I said. 
Um, that's kind of what I was worried about. It should do... Yeah. I was going to say it's not going to do too much damage, but then I get confused. Um, frustrating. Uh, sure, whatever. Pidgeotto, you can do it. Don't confuse me again. But Metroidvanias, man, talk about Metroidvanias. Uh, the indie scene and Metroidvanias go hand in hand these days. There's so many Metroidvanias that people talk about that are made by indie developers that just knock, knock it out of the park. I guess, hell, Salt and Sanctuaries, I classify as a Metroidvania. Dark Souls 1 kind of is a Metroidvania, but you don't, you don't get powers to proceed. It's just keys or bosses, um, where at least with Salt and Sanctuary, you actually got the uh, the dash jump, the da air dash, the anti-grav thing. So you were actually, it was a Metro, much more of a Metroidvania because you were actually getting abilities which let you progress. So certainly, a, I forgot that... Um, uh, potions and crap is all in the same bag as uh, other items in this game, which is annoying. It's better to do this than run into 10 billion Pokemon. All of them being Zubats. Sure. And uh, then the last one to mention is the now coined genre of the boomer shooter. I don't know what they called it before. They probably called them just classic shooters before that, and everyone calls everyone calls them boomer shooters, which I guess is a a funny a funny uh, genre name, I suppose. The, so, I would definitely not classify Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal as boomer shooters. They're not really this, come on. They're really not the same. But there are indie developers who have made games in the classic style of shooter, like the original Doom, like stuff on the build engine. Um, the little shooters that, and then any other ones that I don't know about because they're a bit more obscure. So, indie ga the fact that indie gaming is a thing now is very good because it allows basically dead franchises, or not dead franchises, dead genres to come back to life. Because the big developers sometimes just abandon these franchises, and if you want to play them, what are you going to do? Nothing. You can't, the big franchises are going to do what's more profitable. Now, there are, like, so there's AAA and then there's indie. There are certainly um, developers that are much bigger than indie, but not as big as AAA. The quote unquote double A developers that exist. Um, like uh, Civilization comes to mind, like Firaxis. Firaxis doesn't really feel like a AAA developer to me. Everything they make, like XCOM, we played XCOM. Um, don't remind me. Uh, we played XCOM on this stream. And that, sure, it's a really good game, but it doesn't feel like a triple-A game. And double-A developers are the ones that you really have to look for because I find that um, developing studios or whatever that you could probably classify as double-A, what they do is they find a niche, a very specific niche, and then they lock down that niche because then people are going to come consistently for those games and Oh, good. Uh, they're they're going to come consistently for those games, and that means they're going to always have a consistent stream of uh, revenue, which is good. You know, it means that you're going to get higher, generally, generally higher quality games than indies, though, again, indies can have really high quality games. But, you know, they're going to come out consistently, usually, with that kind of genre for a long period of time, which, hey, is good. So, good job, studios like Paraxis. I don't think Praxis made Civilization. Did they make Civilization 7 or 6? Whatever. Alright, please. I don't remember how many trainers are in Dark Cave, to be honest. Uh, it's 
not... Not something I really want to worry about, because... I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible, please. I don't like going to caves. Caves suck. Because you keep running into Pokemon every 10 steps, or you have to use repels. And we're using base repels, so they run out really quickly. Okay, so no matter what this guy sends out, we will be able to deal with it. Because again, if it's a, uh... A chop, at least I resist as a stab. Fighting for this poison, though, right? That's one of those typing interactions that I. Or no, since poison resists fighting, I don't think it goes the other way around, right? Yeah, oh, the crit, cool. Okay, but seismic toss will do damage. A decent chunk of damage, too. I right, send out a um, Geodude, please, so I can get all my health back. And Onyx will work, too. Uh, yeah. I've never understood people who only play AAA games. People who play exclusively games like Call of Duty, who play exclusively games like everything that comes out on so that's Sony exclusive. Um, it... So, I, I feel like I've mentioned this before, but games like God of War 4 and 5, or the new Spider-Man games on on um, on the PlayStation, it's basically, that, to be fair, any game that's first-party Sony, or basically first-party Sony in the case of something like The Last of Us, or I think technically God of War isn't first-party Sony either, they all seem to lack an identity. The only one I can kind of say has an identity is Ratchet and Clank, mostly because it's based on something a lot more... Like, it, its foundation's a lot more harder to, to pervert, so to say. Whereas games like the new Spider-Man games, the new God of War games, The Last of Us, even the first one, which I hear people say is good, they just, they feel so uninteresting. They lack nuance. They they seem like they they're they're they all share this. Oh, okay. The cinematic game is the way to put it. All of these cinematic games are fine, I guess, if you really want to get engrossed in the story or something. And I don't mind a game that's kind of focusing on engrossing into a story, but. First of all, well-made RPGs are the number one best video game stories because of the fact that well-made RPGs, from from what I've heard, Fallout 1 and 2, for an example, I haven't played Fallout 1 and 2, but from what I've heard, Fallout 1 and 2 sound like the best video game stories to me because they are just well-crafted. Actually, you get to make choices and interesting choices, and that's what makes a good story in video games. The problem is a game like with uh, God of War is because... It, it kind of has this, it has a a focus on story, but also a focus on gameplay. It's not really one or the other. It kind of feels like it split the, the, the interestingness between the two, kind of diluting the whole experience. Whereas something like, well, like something like Dark Souls, where clearly there is a story, but it's not a focus. It's not the main driving force of the game. The driving force of the game, and again, I'll always come back to this, the driving force of video games should be the game part 90% of the time. If the gameplay is good and the story sucks, who cares? That's kind of what, like, prime example, Pokemon. The story in every Pokemon game is bad. Every single one. Even, again, people say, oh, Black and White 1 has the best story. No, no, it's still bad. Um, they all suck. But the gameplay of Pokemon inherently is just fun. The, the thought of building your own team, um, training them up, it's just cool. Uh, and that's what makes Pokemon appealing. So even though, okay, and, and the Pokemon gameplay is in deep, and kind of this also brings up the point that the gameplay system doesn't have to be deep as long as it's interesting. As long as it gives you something fun to do. Ah, fuck. 
I do I have to swap out. Um So But if a gameplay system feels generic, like it's just trying to follow the trends, like it's just like every other game, then why should I be interested in it? If I want a game like like God of War, if I want a game like it, its gameplay looks very similar to a watered down DMC. It look it looks like a watered down version of the first three God of Wars. It looks like a watered down version of DMC. It looks like a watered down version of Bayonetta. So where is my interest in playing God of War 4 or 5 not where's my lack of interest in those games? Well, the gameplay looks just generic. Will I play them? Sure. We'll play God of War 4 and 5 after we play God of War 1, 2, and 3. And again, it's a series where, I, as an outsider never having played God of War, having not played any of the games, 1, 2, and 3 look fun. Especially get, they get better as they go with 1, 2, and 3. And then 4 and 5 seem to have lost the luster that 1, 2, and 3 have in my eye. Um, and for like Spider-Man, I don't know, it's just like an open world game, I guess. That's that's also there. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Open world games, it takes a lot to make an open world interesting in my eyes these days. Because, sure, I played, what, Skyrim when I was younger? I played Fallout 3 and 4. Um, I've played Elden Ring. I mean, obviously the best, any other open world games I've played. I played a little bit of, uh, what, Just Cause 3? Never, never got, like, substantially anywhere in Just Cause 3, but I've played some of it. The two best open world games that I've played so far... Okay, so the best open world games, I would say, are in these categories. Elden Ring is the best gameplay. With some caveats. Uh, Just Cause is kind of just a fun... It Just Cause is kind of just fun. Uh, Just Cause 3. And Skyrim certainly has the best exploration of any of the Bethesda games. It has the most interesting locales. Um, so there is that. But, I don't know, I really don't know what Spider-Man has going for it, besides the fact that, do you like Spider-Man? Um, and then, what else does Sony have? Ratchet and Clank is something that I am interested in. I've never really had played collectathons before, so it's certainly a genre I'm looking to play. Stuff like, um, I would classify Mario of Galaxy. The collection five. It's the only 3D Mario game that I would. Oh, Mario Galaxy and Mario 3D World are the only two 3D Mario games I would classify as collectathons. But 64, which I don't personally think looks like it holds up very well, but Mario 64, Sunshine, and Odyssey are collectathons. I'm interested in playing those. Um, the old classics like Banjo Kazooie and such. Never played any of them. And then the ones from the PS2, like Jack and Daxter, um, uh, Sly Cooper. Again, I haven't played any of these games. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in trying them out. So, Ratchet and Clank. Oh, and of course, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I'm interested in trying those out. And then, Bloodborne, please put on. Please, 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 please put Bloodborne and um, Demon Souls. Demon Souls on PC. I'm. <laughs> please, I beg you. It would make so much money. They put. Um, Persona, which was... No, listen, I haven't played any Persona games. I've never, I've never played any Shin Megami Tensei games except for one, and we'll get to that. Um, uh, I've not played any Shin Megami Tensei games except for one. Uh, and the only two games, the only three games on the PlayStation 4 that I cared about getting ported, well, the PlayStation 4 and 5, were Persona 5, because I wanted to play the full Persona series at some point, um, Demon Souls, Demon's Souls, and Bloodborne. They've ported God of War 4. They've ported Horizon, the first one. They've ported Spider-Man. They're also, I'm pretty sure they're bringing Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2 over. Uh, they've ported Persona. They, they've started porting PlayStation games. Also, and Microsoft has just decided to go full on Windows, which makes sense. Microsoft owns Windows, so why not put everything on PC? Um... Okay, so Sony, listen, I don't want these, again, these games are not super interesting to me, but please put 
the other Horizon game on. Please put, um, even though I've, I've heard some bad things about the other Horizon game, the sequel. So I guess we'll see when we get there. Uh, please put Demon's, Demon's Souls and Bloodborne. Put four or five on there. Put, what else was I trying to say? Uh, put, what do I think? What else? What other games? I guess the Ratchet and Clank games. That'd be nice. Uh, since those are, I don't think those have come over. Uh, put the Last of Us games. Actually, wait, didn't they, aren't they bringing the rem, the, the, so there was, the Last of Us was on the PlayStation 3, then it was remastered for the PS4, and now they're remastering again for the PS5. Oh, sounds like a real, uh, sound investment to me. Like, good job on the myths for the rollout. Um, so bring those over, Last of Us 1 and 2. Even though, again, a lot of these games I'm not interested in, but there are games I definitely think I should play on stream. One, so I have a, a more foundational opinion on them, besides just what I've researched myself without playing them. I don't need a warm wing pack. Uh, I have aerials. And just because, yeah, I kind of, I want, if I'm going to cover every game, I don't, I can't include, I, I can't not include games that I probably would find less interesting because I'm going to also be playing bad games as opposed to uninteresting games. And, um, uh, I, I don't necessarily want to play bad games, but I'm, dedicated to doing it, because some bad games are part of a series that has good games in it. Like... DMC2, apparently. Again, I don't know what's bad about it, but we'll play DMC2. I've just heard it's really bad. That's fine. We'll play it. Anyway, um... I'm trying to think of any other PlayStation games we should port. Uh... PlayStation exclusives. Okay, if it's on the PlayStation 3, uh, bring over Metal Gear Solid 4, please. Because when I get around to playing the Metal Gear Solid series, again, the series I've never played, um, what do you do? Rock Slide. Please tell me Graveler can learn this. So we do actually get Rock Slide. We just didn't get it through level up. Um. I guess we're gonna tackle. Who cares? Rock Slide! Yes, that's so good. Um, I don't think Rock Throw is necessarily the word. Okay, wait, actually, how, how strong is, um, Rock Throw. Isn't it like 55 or something? Oh, it's 50. Okay, so Rock Throw is not as bad as some other moves. So I'm not... Considering Rock Throw only has 10 PP without using a PP up or anything. I'm not... I have no problems with holding Rock Throw for now. Over Tackle. But, ah, having Rock Slide is so much nicer. Yes, okay, I see. Um, but yeah, bring... Please, please port... Um... Uh... The game, the Metal Gear Solid 4. I, I I can play Metal Gear Solid 1. Well, okay. I can play Metal Gear, since that's Metal Gear 1 and 2 are canon to the plot from what I understand. Uh, Metal Gear 1 and 2 I can play on PC. Because Yeah. I can play Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 and 3 as well. Please. I can also play uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 and the like this, the 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 thing. There's like a Metal Gear Five prequel short thing or something. Uh, what is this? A uh, Geo dude? Sure. Uh, oh, I should have put Gravel in the front anyway. On PC because they're on Steam, and Rising Revengeance is also on Steam. Please, please put Metal Gear Solid Four on PC. It's it's. I know that I know that Metal Gear Solid Four is locked. It's only on the PlayStation Three. Um. And there's other old games that obviously I'd want on the PC. Anything older than the, um... Anything older than the, uh... Than the Wii U, the Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3 doesn't need to put on the PC for <coughs> reasons. Um, anything older than the Wii U... Um, yeah. So anything older than the Wii U, the PlayStation 3, or the Xbox 360, I think doesn't 
necessarily, if you're willing to do some things. They don't necessarily have to be ported to the PC, but it would be good if they were. But anything on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Wii U forward should be ported. Speaking of which, let's 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 make fun of Nintendo some more. Uh, because Nintendo is the um the 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 worst the worst game company, in my opinion, these days. Everyone hates EA. For good reason. Everyone hates Blizzard, Activision Blizzard. For good reason. Personally, I have a well, okay, I have a personal vendetta against Nintendo because of their obstinance and refusal to become a modern company. Like, uh, let's uh, keep making terrible systems. The Switch is awful. The Wii U is awful. The, um... The Wii is... I mean, it's fine. It was good for the time. It was interesting. It was unique. Um, but still not as good as the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Um... The GameCube was the last time that Nintendo released a, a on par with the other systems for the generation console. It's so annoying. Um, and then also there's the fact that Nintendo refu again refuses to bring any of their old games forward. Oh yeah, sure. They're slowly releasing games on the Nintendo online, whatever the hell it's called. But they're getting rid of the 3DS and Wii U eShops here in like soon. I think. Um, so the easiest way to play a lot of games was on the Wii U eShop specifically, and there were some, a couple on the 3DS eShop as well. Those are getting gotten rid of. Why? Because you're... Because Nintendo is bastard. They are bastards, basically. It's what it's come down to. Now, the, okay, sure, the developers, yeah. It, it's, the, it's the stockholders, it's the decision makers of Nintendo that are the problem. And I think they need to be cut out. They need to be gotten rid of. They we, get rid of those people. They are terrible. They are making it so we can't play old games. Where is Mother 3, Nintendo? The only way to play Mother 3 is to have a hacked version of it or to get a fan translation ROM because, oh, they never brought Mother 3 over. Why? That's also a series I haven't played. Um, am I going to play... Oh, real quick. Am I going to play Mother 1? I don't want to. I really don't want to play Mother 1. It does not look good at all. And, you know, I just remembered, I said that I don't have anything for this guy. Um, I kind of forgot I had Bite. I'm more trouble. But yeah, bring Mother 3 over, for Pete's sake. Bring every other game that you've never ported over for, for Nintendo. Um, there are a lot of Japanese exclusive games. Of course, the older the game is, like the original first five Fire... No, first six Fire Emblem games are all Japanese exclusive. And even there, there's one more. The remake of Fire Emblem 3 is Japanese exclusive. So... Um, now, the only three that I think need to be ported somehow are Fire Emblem 4, 5, and whatever the remake of... I think it's 12? Because 11 is the remake of 1 and 12 is the remake of 2. So Fire Emblem 3 and 4, no, 4 and 5 and 12 need to be brought. Because there's a remake of 1, there's a remake of 2, and there's a remake of 3. I would not recommend, from what I've seen about Fire Emblem 1, 2, and 3, or at least 1 and 2, definitely don't play that. You could probably play original Fire Emblem 1, uh, 3, but why would you just play the remake? Can you not have Pokemon that... Pidgeotto can't fight, please. Can it be like a fire type, a grass type, a water type, a um, normal type, a, a dark type, a psychic type, a uh, grass type? Yep, that's what I wanted. Cool. Yeah, okay. Anyway, yeah, Nintendo's terrible. They, they fucking suck. Um, they are. Just every day I get sadder. Sure. <laughs> Uh, they announce... They announce a game, and it seems cool. I'm like, hey, sure, the, the game looks cool, Nintendo, but what about your older games? What are, Is this game going to be playable in 10 years because you're just going to abandon it, leave it in the dust? Um... That's the problem with Nintendo, is these other game series is... Uh, oh, wait, what am I using Quick Attack for? Air Lace is guaranteed to hit. Uh, is that... 
can't trust Nintendo to say in 10 years, when we're on the Nintendo Switch 3, hopefully, whatever the... We were hopefully in 10 years going to be getting either have or have about to get the console after the Nintendo Switch. Probably. Um, are we going to be able to play Mario Odyssey? Are we going to be able to play Breath of the Wild? Are we going to be able to play blah, 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 blah? Now, fortunately, I own these games physically. Actually, I don't own a physical copy of Odyssey yet. But I have a decent chunk of Switch games physically, and I'm trying to get as many as I can reasonably. Um... That's why I try to do with the 3DS as well. Um, and, the, and the Wii U when I can, and the DS when I can, basically every console when I can. But I can't, I can't rely, and, and, and okay, to be fair, there are, especially among old games, games on the PS1, PS2, that just are not popular enough to get a port. Like, game series I want to try to start, start playing now that I know it exi it, that it exists. Armored Core, from software. Do I want to go play Armored Core 1 through 5 before 6 comes out? Yes. Um, is Armored Core 1 on the PlayStation 1? Yes. Is it go is it playable outside of either owning a PlayStation 1 and owning Armored Core 1 or other methods? No. Um, does that suck? Yeah, but I kind of... Do, do those games deserve some way to play them on PC? Basically, what I'm saying is there needs to be something where... On computer, since computer is the most... It'd be nice if it was on console too, but computer is the most important because computer is the most widespread. Because theoretically, you could do this stuff on like really low power computers as well. Um, there needs to be some kind of foundation that just comes in and buys licenses or the rights to old games. And at, at, at this point, I'd say let the government come in and say, you gaming... Companies, if you're not going, if you're not going to provide these games for um, somehow as just collections to customers, you are going to sell these rights. That's what I think for, for video game preservation should happen. This company comes in and they say, we are going to sell these games for pretty cheap. Each one will be like something on Steam. It could even have its own launcher like Steam. Um, but all these old games will take under our wing. We'll make our own launcher like Steam or it could be something on Steam. It could be a game within Steam that you pay inside of that game. Um, and every game, old or new, could be bought for a small, like, let's say every game ever was viable for $5. That sounds good to me. Every game ever. I would not buy, I'm, I would not mind paying $5 for comparing original Mario, original Mario on the NES to a game on the PS2, like, um, ah, uh, something. Uh, I'm trying to think. PS2, uh, it has a lot of games, but I never owned a PS2. Well, actually, that's, no, I own a PS2 now, but, um, uh, I was talking about Xenoblade Chronicles, um, one of the Xenoblade Saga games. Um, one of those games certainly has a lot more content going for it, and necessarily you could say one's better than the other, since Mario 1 is certainly archaic at this point, but I'd be fine paying $5 if I could permanently own it Granted, it's like a digital thing like Steam, so I, I still kind of like physical copies of stuff, but I kind of understand that that's kind of a hard thing to ask for old stuff. But I'm fine paying $5 for every game I ever wanted to buy if it was this old system. That'd be great! But, um, you know, we live in the real world. So you either have to be a collector like me, you have to be, and then if you're being a collector like me, you have to sometimes be willing to spend a large amount of money. I spent a lot, not an insane amount, but I spent a lot of money on a couple games. Um, not as much as I would theoretically have to. Um, but I have spent money on games. And, or you need to be willing to take alternative methods. Because Nintendo sucks, and then just other companies don't think about it. It'd be cool to get an Armored Core just just released on Steam. Every Armored Core 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 port, just ported onto a collection on the Steam. Sell it for 20 bucks. That'd be cool. It would be cool. I wonder how much... Actually, here real quick. I wanna, I'm speaking of Armored Core. Go to eBay. Uh, and you always have to search by um, sold, not by what you first see. So let's look up Armored Core 1 on the PS1. 
That's why I got caps lock on. Armored core. Yes, one. Uh, oh. Uh oh. Um, okay, again, this isn't sold prices. Let's go to sold. Where's that again? Uh, sold items. Okay, so Armored Core 1 on the PS1 is being sold for... For the lowest I can find, not the Japanese version. The Japanese one always sells for lower because we're not Japanese. Uh, the lowest one I can find, disc only, is $28. I imagine this price of this game went up recently because of, but not not just disc, but also manual and case is lowest I can find is sixty seven dollars. Um, here's one that sold for one hundred nineteen dollars. Here's one that sold for eighty three dollars. Might this one sell? Oh, wait, is it a two disc game? I know it's PlayStation stuff. It looks like it seems inconsistent. I can't seem to tell if this is a one disc game or a two disc game. Is that like a C? There's some I see some with two discs. Is that like a CD or something? Does that have like a soundtrack on it? Whatever. Okay, so that's a game that can theoretically cost you a decent chunk of money. Potentially. And that's why these games need to be ported. Uh, oh, right. I was supposed to. I was supposed to swap Pidgeot out of the front of the party. I forgot to do that. <laughs> but it's fine. We can do it now if I don't forget. But we are going. We are. God, I hate caves. I feel like we've been we've been stuck in this cave forever. What did it say? You bring it. Whatever. We can stay with Kadabra. Well, it's slow ah, that slow poke. Slow poke, I'm not that concerned. That confusion should kill Pidgey. I don't really need to conserve PP, but I'm just making a point. Cadaver's pretty good. Dana? Yeah, we already ran into Diana someone, and I talked about something. Uh switch. Are we there yet? Yes, okay. Then the only thing left would be something over there's a, there might be a hidden item over there. I'm not looking. I don't care. We made it. Fight me. Peril. Nothing interesting to say about that. Pidgey. It's whatever my lead Pokemon is. It's you know what? Acid. He probably only has Gust at best. So who cares? And he's using Quick Attack because he's an idiot. Well, yeah, whatever lead Pokemon I have, it's always uh, Gloom's in the front. It's going to be Flying types, it's going to be Fire types, it's going to be Psychic types, it's going to be blah, 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 blah. If I got um, Kadabra in the front of the party, it's going to be none of them because Dark types are non-existent in this game and Ghost types are ex exclusive to three Pokemon and they could get killed by Kadabra anyway. And Steel types is exclusive to... Magnemite and Magneton, and they don't show up very often. So Kadabra's the only one who really has a, not had a problem with this. Um, I don't know, Graveler. I'm glad I caught a Kadabra. In a game where Psychic Type doesn't really have any problems. Even though this is in Gen 1 Psychic Type, where Psychic Types in Gen 1 were completely fucking broken, they're still really good in this game. It's because of a lack of stuff to stop Psychics. Rapide! Hit, please. It's only 90% accuracy. So you shouldn't miss very much. No, I always feel like when I'm playing competitive Pokemon and I'm using someone with Rock Slide, they always miss. That's just how it feels. Alright, so you're a hiker. So you should have guys that Gloom can fight. Please? I want to have something stupid. Yeah, Geodude, that's perfect. When do we get Mega Drain or something? Except for the fact that the problem with this game is... I don't think it's until Gen 5 that Mega Drain has 10 PP and Giga Drain has... 5. 
8th PP, which is so stupid. I think in Gen 5 they changed it to give Mega Drain 15 and Giga Drain 10, which is way better. Because Mega Drain and Giga Drain are so weak. Oh yeah, they're absorbing moves. Um, Mega Drain gives you... But it's, Mega Drain's only base 40 power, and Giga Drain's only base 60 power. You got something like Drain Punch and uh, Leech Life uh, in Gen 7 and onwards, which are absorbing moves, but they have decent PP and they have high power. Actually, they might both have 10 PP, but at least they're higher power moves. Gotta crack my finger sometimes. Just like my neck. I actually haven't felt like I needed to crack my neck in the last couple streams, which is good. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if it's good. It's just a thing. Want to see my Pokemon? You know, this, uh, the Pokemaniac, uh, sprite in Gen 3 is kind of funny. Okay, Kloon can kill this. Uh, the one benefit of using absorption moves is, uh, you get your health back. Even if it's really weak. Oh my god. Ugh. Can I get Mega Drain, please? Please? I'm asking nicely. I just want not this. 20, 20 base power. It's so bad. At, at, at least... Okay, Slowpoke. Um, I sure will work, but why not? Uh, at least... We got at it now. It sucks. It's not the best move. Um, in fact, are there any grass types that aren't also poisoned in this game? Uh, execute an executor. Um, uh, uh, hmm. Man, poison type seems to suck, in, especially suck in this game. But again, it should be neutral coverage for at least something. And I always feel so... I guess I'm just a really fidgety person. I suppose I should clarify that. Because I, I always feel like I'm shifting or scratching myself or something. I don't like to sit still, I suppose. I'm not OCD. I can focus on stuff if I need to. But sitting still is something that I find very... I don't know, taxing. It's not really the right word, but I think you get the idea. Taxing, taxing, no, not taxing. Uh. Hmm. You know, sometimes I pride myself on having an, an interesting vocabulary, but I also feel like I've stopped reading as much as I used to when I was younger. So maybe I should start reading again. You know, okay, speaking of game series, is... There is a game series that I'm not going to be able to play until I read books, and that's the Witcher book series. Uh, what is my experience with the Witcher? I'll tell you my experience with the Witcher. I probably played a couple hours of the Witcher 1, I played a couple hours of the Witcher 2, and I played a couple hours of the Witcher 3. So I played a little bit of each of them. Um, so I definitely will want to play them in order, um, but I will need to read the books beforehand, so I should probably actually get on that, so that whenever I decide to get on to, to streaming the Witcher series, I've got the books done. Um, I'm pretty sure that people... I've, I think the show is based on the books. But I'd rather read the books, because the games were made before the show came out, and the games are based on the... the okay, the games are based on information that happened in the books. Uh, they're not the same story. I know that Witcher 1 takes place after the ending of whatever the last book is. So, yeah. Didn't they announce a remake of Witcher 1? You know, from what I remember about Witcher 1, that might be something worth waiting for, because Witcher 1 was kind of, from what I remember, was kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, okay, anyway, welcome to uh, this place. Uh, what's it called again? Lavender Town? The probably most famous town in all of Pokemon. You saw anything cool? I'll buy a couple of these, because we still have one more party member to get. Um, oh, now we're selling Super Repels. I'm pretty sure Super Repels are the most bang for your buck one. They give you the most 
steps per pokey poke pokey dollar however it's called um so i'm pretty sure one especially once bats repels are the better ones to use until gen black and white 2 because black and white 2 again is when you, they start asking you if you want to use another one uh so use max repels until then but once you get to black and white 2 start buying real repels instead uh do any of you give me items this quick search of the town i can never remember which guys give Items and towns. Oh, the name raider? Yeah, I don't care about that. Um, listen, I know that people who play Nuzlocke's nickname their Pokemon. Um, I don't care about that. In a Nuzlocke, I will be not nicknaming my Pokemon. I don't care. It's like the same thing with I hate character creators. I hate nicknaming my Pokemon. Um, okay, so... We can kind of go down this way. Or... A, a period of time. We can also go into Lavender Tower, but not finish it. We can also go left. I think we want to go left first. I think. Yes, actually. Shit. Yeah, you're using Jigglypuff and stuff, huh? Well, you are a lass, and I did make a, um stereotype earlier, so... Gotta at least fulfill that stereotype sometimes. Okay, actually, now that we are on route... What route are we on? It's annoying that you survived that. I, you know, I don't... We've got a Pokemon Center right here. We're gonna be running back and forth a lot here, I feel like, so I don't know why I... I don't need to preserve PP. Uh... You know what? I feel like Clefairy's... A Especially defensive Pokemon. Let's try rock sliding. Mm. Fine with me. Hey, my Gladler's fe uh, female, so I'm not going to get cute charmed. Fantastic. You did exactly what I was hoping you'd do. Okay, so... Don't have to mean me mean to Clefairy. Uh, well, it's not fairy type yet, so I don't really care. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there's some hit. Yeah, I see the M. I see two M's actually. I see three M's. I don't think they're all berries. Okay, well, Leopardberry I can't complain about. And Lumberry's not bad either. One second. Uh, yeah. Say hello to our final team member. Growlithe and Arcanine. Never used this guy, this guy before. Um, so that's cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the only issue was I chose this guy. Um, I'm interested to see how well he's going to work in this game, considering he's a stone evolution, which means we're going to need to keep him as a Growlithe for a long time. Now... Actually, let me look up... Before we do anything else, um, Growlithe... Also, this is the reason we're playing Fire Red, because uh, I'd rather use a Growlithe than an Arcanine. Or, I mean, a Ninetales. Or an Arcanine instead of a... Shut up. You know what I mean. Um, so... Gen 3 Moveset. I'm more of a Bulbapedia guy myself. I know Cerebi is also... I know Cerebi's, like, supposed to be technically better or something. Um, but I'm more of a Bulbapedia guy. Okay, so... Okay, Arcanine level 3 Moveset. Does he learn anything post-evolution? Yes, he learns Extreme Speed at level 49. That's not interesting. Um... Okay, we have to keep Growlithe until level 49 to get Flamethrower. When, where? TM35, where do you get TM35 in this game? Um, Rocket Game Quarter, purchase, no, I'd have to gamble for it. I have to keep... Unless I'm willing to sacrifice 
um, flamethrower and just use flame wheel instead, we have to keep Growlithe until level 49. Oh. That's so bad. We could gamble, but I'm not really good at it. I'm not really good at it at all. Give, give a nickname to Growlithe? No, I don't care. Nope! Shit, I wanted to save all the trainers for Growlithe. Okay, um... Never mind, Growlithe wouldn't, wouldn't have been good against this guy anyway. Uh... So, with this in mind... Oh, cool. Um, I don't really care. You're not gonna be able to do much damage to me anyway. Unless you bite! Hey, are you gonna kill yourself? Yeah! That was, um... Convenient, I suppose, if he, if uh, I wasn't gonna get to kill myself. Volpix? Sure. Whatever. Um, send out our good... Oh, he has something? I think Growlithe... Okay. From what I would... Let me give it, let me make an educated guess on information I have. I think Growlithe can start... You can catch Growlithe holding Rostberries, which doesn't make sense because you can't get burnt. But... Uh, I don't know. Um... We, 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 we make the assumptions that I think are correct. Okay, we're gonna put, no wait, actually, yeah, put him here, because we want Graveler there, we want Growlithe here, item take. And I am correct, um, so what are you, hasty? I don't know what that is. Um, we did have to start getting the blue and the red on the stats to tell me which ones go up and which ones go down. What, red's up and blue's down, right? Um, yeah. Well, it's Pokemon training time, so... Get out your speed-ups. We're gonna be running back and forth in the grass for a while. Um, where do you get a lucky egg in this game? Do you have to catch a Chansey and hope it has one? That would suck. I don't use lucky eggs, um... In... In a Pokemon playthrough, unless I need to get someone up some levels. I don't, I don't like trying to overscale my guys compared to the levels of my opponents. I don't have at least some kind of challenge. Though, we're coming up to Erica, and I have no clue what... Okay, at least we have Stab, even if it's not... Uh... This might take a while. Um... Hey, at least we have Bite, that's something. Um, wait, actually, what's your special attack? Okay, his special attack's not so far behind that it's a problem, but it will certainly be... His attack will always be higher. It would have been better to use Arcanine in... in a, a later game, any other game besides this one. But I'm going to tell you... I'm going to give you a secret. Um, fire typing is my favorite typing. So I kind of want to use a Fire-type Pokemon in every game we play. Uh, some games that'll be easy. Some games will use the Fire-type starter, like... Uh, Gen 2? Are we going to use Typhlosion? Uh, we'll use either Typhlosion or Feraligator. I haven't decided yet. Wait, have I decided? Actually, that's not true. I have decided already. We will be using Typhlosion in Gen 2. Um... <laughs> Is there anywhere else I can do this? That's convenient. Is there any grass up here? Oh my god, we, the only option is here. Alright, so until we get him to like level 20, this is gonna suck. Yeah, he also kind of gets experience kind of slow, I'm noticing. Eh. We have to go back to the Pokemon Center already. So yeah, we're, we're going to be in, in this for the long haul, it seems. But anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I forget. Oh, right, Typhlosion. We'll use Typhlosion for Gen, 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 Gen 2 for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. We'll use, um, for Gen 3? 
You know, I'm fine with you. So, Gen 3 is the most... I'm taking risks when I really shouldn't be. Gen 3 is the most... I'd... Okay. Gen... No, okay. So, once you go to Gen 3, um... I'm at that point pretty much willing to use any starter from that point forward. Uh, I don't mind using any Gen 3 or Gen 4 or Gen 5 or Gen 6 or Gen 7 starter. They're all cool in their own ways. Um... That's all, finally, a level surprising. Um, I will definitely be using... So I don't, I don't know about... Um... Yeah, I don't know about... God damn it. Okay, so... I'm not going to get this Pidgey and keep it forever, which is unfortunate. Um... <laughs> so, part of me wants to... Part of me wants to catch this and then grind it off-stream, because I really don't want to grind two Pokemon right now, and I kind of be willing to do this off-stream, because grinding isn't super interesting. Um, and use this instead. But that kind of seems counter to... It wouldn't be that far off. I already used the air... Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, I wasn't given a choice anyway. I'm actually fine with that. Uh... <laughs> well, you know, just a random shiny encounter. Uh, yeah, well... So, that's the... Okay, that is now the second ever actual science shiny that I've encountered just with max odds. First Litten, second Pidgey, the Pidgey decides to Whirlwind. I don't care, really. Um, I was kind of like, it, so I was like, I could catch this and then use this instead of the other one, but that's like, oh, kind of like the connection to the Pokemon, I don't really care that much, but you know, you're abandoning the other Pidgeotto who's been with this whole time. So, made the choice for me, that's fine. <laughs> Certainly, uh, Certainly, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm glad since I don't think it's gonna ever happen again. It was kind of just fun to run into a shiny the one time. Please don't kill me. Please let me run away. That's <laughs> not that big a deal. He faints. He faints. Uh, can we please get to like level 20 so I can start just killing everything without a fear for my life? Since everything's clearly able to beat me up for some reason. Meowth seems to be the biggest problem, because he seems to be the highest level guy around here. A lucky egg or an experience share would be nice, because then... Okay, you know, I guess we can try. If he growls multiple times, I guess I can kill him. Ekans, I don't... Okay. I would say Ekans, I don't think actually can do that much damage, but then he did that much damage, so... Uh, yeah. I forgot. So, the shiny stunlocked me so much that I completely forgot what I was talking about. Uh, let me try to think. Uh, oh, right, I'm talking about starters. Um, so I plan to use Typhlosion for Gen 2. I do not know who I will use for Gen 3 yet. I'll, I can use any of them, honestly. Gen 1, I'll, or Gen 4, I'll definitely be using Infernate because... Okay, so I don't know what my favorite Pokemon is. I, it's kind of something I can't really... I used to think it was Ampharos. Um, I don't really think that anymore. Um, I really don't- I wouldn't say I have a favorite Pokemon. Yeah, they're kind of all just- they're all cool, I guess, but... I- and there's certainly- I don't- I don't think there's any Pokemon that I- I don't dislike either. They're all just- they're all equal in my mind. But I'll definitely be using Infernape, because Infernape was- my first Pokemon game was ever- ever was Pearl, and the first Pokemon I ever chose was Infernape, so we'll, you know, stick with that. Uh, Gen- Five? Well, we're going to be playing Gen 5 two times. Um, so, uh, I want... Okay, so I definitely know I'm going to be using Samurott for Black and White 2. Um, the question is, who do I use for Black and White 1? Superior or... Um... Embor? That's a great question. Um... I don't know.
You know, you're hitting your rock slides even though you're getting a sand attack. I pre appreciate that, Graveler. You're doing a good job. Uh, Gen 6. Um, again, I don't know. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind using any of them. Uh, like, Fedekin is cool, I guess. Uh, uh, Greninja, or Fedekin, uh, what's the final form called again? I kind of forget, actually. What? Uh, Fedekin, Brakeson, and then Delphox. Delphox is cool. Um, Greninja is, like, the classic, just really cool guy. Plus, he, I know he has pro Protean, and there's the Ash Greninja thing. Um, obviously, we're not going to be, we're not going to be getting that in, come on. You know, a more productive way of doing this might just be to do switch training with the trainers. All right, yeah, let's do that. You know, the only way this is going to work... So if we run into, like, a uh, Grass-type trainer, since Pokemon trainers still don't have, like, super high-level Pokemon, so if we run into a Grass-type trainer, someone who uses Magnemites, um... There are no non also water type ice types in this game so take that out of the contention uh plus i don't think we'd be running into any ice types yet at this point anyway don't poison me but yeah anyway uh and then chespin quilladin uh chestnut they're all fine too so i don't know about gen 6 gen 7 i like i like all of them as well pre-marine is cool um incineroar is cool this is why it's cool. And then Gen... Again, Gen 8, I don't... Okay, that's not true. When we get to Gen 8 and Gen 9, I'll be choosing the Fire type. Because like I said, every time I first play a Pokemon game, I choose the Fire type. So I gotta keep that going. So we'll be using... Um... Uh... Okay, so I know the final form is called Cinderace. And Rillaboom is the Grass guy. And... It's like something Elyon, I think, for the Water guy. Oh, wait, I was supposed to swap out the Rowlet. Whoops. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely be using Cinderace for Gen um, 8, and then Gen 9 will be using the Crocodile guy, whatever he's called. Um, but I don't I don't know what the Crocodile guy is called. Um, I have not heard enough about Gen 8. Uh, the only reason I think I know about Cinderace is because I've heard Cinderace is really good. I'm pretty sure it had protein as well, right? Which, protein's a good abil ability. Uh, getting stab on everything sounds good to me. Also being able to um, dodge... Uh... Oh, we... I, no, I don't care. We've got bite. Uh, being able to dodge super effective attacks is pretty good too. Just like, ooh, I'm a fire type? Oh, you sent out a water type? Well, let me use... Um, I don't know, high jump kick and... Uh, I don't know what his mo uh, Cinderace's moveset would be, but, uh... But, um... Yeah, let me just use a move that I'm now no longer either neutral or resistant to water. Sounds good to me. Also, the fact that your, your type switching into monotypings is pretty good, too. Uh, you know... That's fine. I was gonna say, like, Rock Slide just could just deal with this right now. Who cares? Oh, wait, no, it's gonna not be as powerful. Okay. Do it again! I don't know how much... This is basically just, like, fighting these two Pokémon. Uh, is gonna... Because of the double battle, it's gonna basically give us split experience again, so... Not super exciting, but... I guess we get to keep Growlithe in, for what that's worth. Thanks, Rock Slide. You're good. Uh, this... I know that Surf... I know Rock Slide doesn't. The Surf... Um, the Surf hit your partner Pokemon, and does Earthquake hit your partner Pokemon in Gen 3? I don't know if it does. It, Gen 3 Double Battles, just to me, have always felt a bit more... going to be... We they're going to be a bit more weird compared to the uh, Gen 4 when all onwards one. Like, they didn't seem to quite, quite have the system fixed to add. Oh, yeah, another question. Why did they uh, get rid of rotation and triple battles? I, I don't know one played them, but... It, it, uh, mm. They also got rid of Battle Royale as well from Gen 7. 
I will say, though, that, um... <laughs> so, I think rotation battling was cool. I thought triple battling was kind of stupid. So, take with that what you will. Well, now we gotta go back, because our Kadabra is poisoned. Oh, good. Let me get this effect. D uh, did they get rid of this effect in Gen 4? I know they definitely did in Gen 5. But I can't remember. It's been so long since I played Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I played... I played... Uh, man, is, I played Black and White 2 recently, but I haven't played Black and White 1 in a long time. I haven't played... I played Heart Gold Soul Silver s recently, yeah. Which is relative, but compared to the others. Um, X and Y, I haven't played in a long time either. And then Ultra Sun and Moon, I haven't played in a long, long time either. And then Sun and Moon, I haven't played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon since Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out. Um, and obviously I haven't played uh, Sun and Moon since before that. But yeah, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum are the Pokemon games I haven't played in the longest amount of time. So it'll be fun to go back to them. Pidgey, can it be low level? 19. Uh, I don't know if I can fight these. I guess we'll see. We'll try as many as possible. Ah. Yeah, sure, I'll just ass in you. Please outspeed. Alright, well, you're dead anyway. Cool. Exciting. Interesting. I wanted to kill it myself, please, Nidoran. Oh! Uh Nidoran. Nidoran. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't think it's gonna actually do too much damage. I saw the first step, it's like, whoa, that's a lot more than I thought. But it was a crit. That's a point. But you also, if you get the burn, it's also gonna do less damage. That also move has no power. It's very weak. You're gonna poison me? No, okay, I just got lucky. Hey, our first trainer Pokemon killed by Growl. That's good. Rattata? Um... Alright, we should be able to kill this. As long as he doesn't quick attack me. We get a level? Level 20 would be nice. Yeah, oh, we have to switch out for this one. I know that Meowth is going to be faster than me based on what happened in the grass. Um, I don't know. Geodo, why not? As soon as I set up Pidgeotto, I'm like, I'm still, it's, it's still funny that that, that uh, shiny Pidgey showed up. I, I, I was not expecting it. I guess you're never expecting a shiny when you're not actively looking for them. And then even when you're looking for a shiny, I would still not expect them then. Because what, even with you low, if you lower the odds to the most, the smallest number, it's still a pretty big number. Uh, I guess we can try. I'm not expecting much, especially if we get paralyzed. Hmm. So I would when people start using double team, I would swap into a uh, Pidgey, Odo, and use um, Aerial Ace. But uh, if we hit this the last Ember, we'll have done it by ourselves. Come on, Paralysis! Oh, good job. That was, that was a nice one. Bypass the para Paralysis, hit the Ember. Um, no, that's level twenty. God, I my chair's not in the right position. <laughs> Last Megan. Well, you got trounced by a Growlithe that was just recently caught. Still doesn't have his EBs yet. Um, how's that make you feel? Wait. <laughs> I want to run inside. Oh, you're not allowed to run indoors. What are you, my mom? Actually, it would be Professor Oak saying, Oh, Red, there's a time and place for everything, but not here. Yeah, what are you? Yeah, Professor Oak, what are you, my mom? I don't think so. Um, I think I also want to go south first. 
just clear those trainers out down there. Only issue is that um, I think they're all water type trainers down there, so Growlithe wouldn't be able to do anything. So at the very least, I'd like to at least try to level him up first, so if he does run into a water type that he might be able to kill, he can use Bite. Ah, crap. Um, well... Why is that thing Graveler? He resists. Man, the experience share would make this so much easier, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I would need to catch more Pokemon if I wanted to use the experience share. One of the Ames has it, I think. Magnitude? Now, stop lowering my attack. Get a Magnitude 8 for me. That's not what I asked for. This isn't going to do anything. Why don't I get the money if you lose when you use Payday? Oh, another critical. How nice. Magnitude 8? I think that's the first Magnitude 10 we've seen. I thought it only went up back to 9. Whatever. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with the Growling Meowth again. Is Growlithe our only Pokemon in the Great Ball also? Everything else is in a Pokeball. You know what? Yeah. Um, we're... No, I should be sending out a Special Attacker. What am I doing? I was gonna say... I was thinking, sending out Pidgeotto because I was like, oh yeah, we can bypass the accuracy. No, 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 he's not using Smoke Train or anything. I'm still thinking back to um, po Pikachu and coughing. No, no, no. I, I, I should send out Kadabra because Kadabra doesn't care about morale. And the, the third, excuse me, the third Meowth. Wow, you sure have a, a type and you stick to it, huh? What are you, a gym leader? You know, you at least need more than one Pokemon. If... Actually, let's send out War Turtle. Why not? Uh, but if you want to be a gym leader, you gotta have more than one Pokemon. Yeah. That's why I sent out War Turtle, because I was like, I, he probably has Bite, all things considered. A lot of things get Bite. Especially if there are a lot more um, on the more, like, cat, dog, Turtle. I don't know. The humanoid Pokemon don't get bite. I don't. I'm trying to think of any humanoid Pokemon that get bite. Birds don't, obviously. Plants don't, obviously. And a big rocks one, but. Cool. Um, four quadruped animals? Sure, why not? They can all bite something to varying degrees. You can pretend it's a snapping turtle. You can pretend it's a. Again, a dog. A dog should bite things. My dog won't. My dog refuses to bite anyone, except for by accident sometimes. If you're being care if you're being careless, he'll bite you. It's always my fault if I get bit by my dog, not his. He wouldn't do it on purpose. Because he's a good dog. Poison Sting is so bad. I mean, that would be a move that would be nice to get a bit of a buff. Make it like base 40 and base instead of base 20. Need arena? Oh, the evolved one. Uh I don't know if Growlithe can actually stand up to this. Let's not take the risk. Don't use double kick, please. Don't poison me also. Magnitude. Uh, this might probably still kill, maybe. I don't know what the magnitude powers are. But it was enough. Um. Last page. Well, you got. Maybe you should take a page out of my book and not use terrible Pokemon like those. <laughs> anyway, um. Can you have Pokemon that I can just outright. Kill, murder, destroy, obliterate, disintegrate with... Eh. Mm. No, Rhymer has decent special defense. Uh, if he sets out coughing, I can try. Don't poison me. Not very effective. Good start. Yeah. I, uh, we haven't gotten poisoned yet from a move, so I was like, it's only a matter of time. That's enough. As long as it's not magnitude 4. I think 4 is the minimum, right? Hey, Growler's about to get a level. I guess that's cool. Oh, and Growler too. Nope, not quite. Primer again. Okay, um, I could... Uh, we got a level, so I guess maybe we could, we, could, we could try. I don't think it's gonna work, but... What do we get? Ah... Uh, 
What if we get Flame Wheel? Um, because that'll be definitely an upgrade. I want to save. Again, I don't want to evolve until we get. Uh... Ooh. I don't want to evolve until we get to, um, Flamethrower, but Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel will definitely make things easier. Good job, Ralph. You've, uh, earned yourself a, um, a T Bone's fake. You always see those in, like, old cartoons. Tom and Jerry and the like. In fact, I think it's exclusively what you see if you see a steak. And even though I don't... Okay, eh, if we want to... if we want, I'm not... Okay, so I'm not... Okay, first of all, I don't drink alcohol, so I wouldn't be able to have a conversation about... Mm, I like this alcohol... Great, I'm also young, so that would also be weird. But I, I, I'm never going to be the type of person to be like, I like this alcohol from this year, or this this beer brewed from this... Brew. Yeah, yeah, that's never going to be me, because I just don't like alcohol, period. But... When it comes to meat, steak is the one that's the most like that, I suppose, if you want to put it that way. Like the wine comparisons and all that jazz, alcohol, blah, 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 blah. So I don't like anything super fatty. A little bit of fat is fine, but if it's like huge chunks of fat, eh, that, that's not really appealing to me. I know other people like it, but I'm like, nah. It just kind of... It's, if it's too much fat, it's way too chewy. Um, but that's why only a little. If I if there's a little bit of fat on, and yeah, good job on your poison gas. Um, so my preferred um piece of beef would actually be tri tip because tri tip is like not fatty at all. So pretty good for me. T bone is kind of fatty. Um. I think Tri-Tip's the one I'm thinking of, anyway. I might have the wrong names. So, again, I'm not some beef guy. Uh... What else is there? There's, um... There's, uh... Right. Um, there's stuff like... Horned beef and roast beef and stuff like that, but that's all... Usually ground up in some kind of form. So it's a bit more all over the place. Uh, I'm trying to think what other piece, like, there's, I think there's a piece called the Flank, but I don't remember ever having that. There's the Sirloin, there's the Misloin, that's not true, um, a crit. I was going to say, I don't think you'd be able to get a, that much damage with a burn. You're not going to disable me because I, um, dodged it. Uh, there's the, uh, there's the, 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 the stuff. The other part, yeah, that's about all I got. Um, I can't think of anything else. Again, I don't... I only ever have steak if I, like, go to a steak place or someone else is making it. That's not something I'd be good at making. I'm not good at, I'm not good at making a lot of foods. Like, I can make some stuff. But I'm no chef. Slash cook. Slash baker. Slash whatever. Anyone who works with food, I'm not particular. That's not my skill set. My brother... Mm, my brother's actually pretty good at cooking. He's, a uh, quite good at that task. Uh, if he's ever in town uh, and he says, I'm going to make something, I'm like, that sounds good to me. So I would... Like, I'm opposed to trying... If, okay. I'm more of the type to think of something easy to make if I had to. Um, but once... I still live with my family. Um, once I'm able to move out and well with the way housing is in the in the world today we'll see how that happens but um once i'm able to have my own place at the very least i prepare my own food i am willing to start trying to start experimenting more but now while i'm still at the point where i kind of have to rely a bit on my family for certain things though i do help my family of course i have my own job of course um for now, I'm kind of not as capable slash willing to experiment, but I will, I, I I am definitely up to it later. No, this raises your special defense. My only attacks are special attacks. Okay, it doesn't raise your special defense yet. Um, also, I'm here, let's also take it. Nope, not that. What's your special attack at right now? Mm, it's slowly falling behind, which is nor it makes sense. Um, oh, you use charge and then you use tacker. Tacker. Um, tacker. Genius strategy. 
When do you think that one up? Volter. Volter. I, I keep saying something that's completely m mispronounced, and then I, um... Speaking of mispronounced, and then I, but I do catch myself, just to finish that thought. Um, speaking of mispronounced, I sure don't do like the Pokemon, um, Rayquaza. It's sure, it's sure a cool Pokemon, Rayquaza. It's a, it's a, it's a cool dragon, that one, that, uh, Rayquaza. You know? It's not Quaza. The Pokemon company has specified many times, guys, it's... There are multiple pronuncia examples of pronunciation in the show, in some 3DS Pokedex thing. <laughs> it's Quaza, like Quasar. It's not Quasar, it's Quasar. Oh, people are like, oh, but it sounds cooler that way. Um. Okay. No, that's not what I meant to click. Okay, it worked out. Um, it's not, it's not how, listen, if I know how a word is pronounced, okay, if I don't know how a word is pronounced, I'm mispronouncing it, then okay, sure, I don't know. I don't, I can't, if someone doesn't know, I can't blame them. If you know how it's pronounced and you mispronounce it, though, then you're just kind of being an idiot. Example. Um, I sometimes still forget this one, but I learned that the Gen 5 Pokemon Reuniclus, every most people pronounce it Reuniclus, is actually pronounced Reuniclus. Um, that's uh, I think Reuniclus sounds better, but it is Reuniclus. So, I, and again, I forget that one sometimes, so I make the best effort to make sure I say that correctly. And then there are certain things where I've looked up the pronunciation and then I find out what the correct pronunciation is and then I forget, like Dialga slash Dialga. Uh, I looked that up before, I forget. I don't remember. I say Dialga most of the time. And then, okay, and then there, there are things like Dialga or Dialga where I'll sometimes swap for whatever reason. Um, Arceus or Arceus? Um, I think it's Arceus, but I forget. I definitely looked that one up too. Um, but I forget. It didn't leave that much of an impact on me. But Rayquaza does, because I've always said Rayquaza. Um, it's also the correct pronunciation. And Reuniclus is also, I remember most of the time, because it's a very, it's a very strange one. But I'll do it correctly because it's the, I'm gonna pronounce things correctly if I have to. The only, um, the only, the only, uh, place where I can say that's not quite true, even though it's I'm still pronouncing it correctly, is GIF versus JIF. I know the so the original creator of GIF, the GIF has said that it's JIF, but in the diction at this point in the dictionary, JIF and GIF are both a thing. So it's basically an either or scenario. It's kind of it's like a tomato tomato situation, except for no one says tomato. So I don't know why that's a that's part of the the the, the thing. But you can say GIF and JIF are both correct. Even if the because just enough of the um, enough of the world since it's just kind of a word, have unanimously unanim unanim unanimously said gif. Um, so there you go. Um, but with for something like Rayquaza, which the Pokemon Company says that's how you pronounce it, this is our official pronunciation. Then that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's like their word, their copyright, I suppose. Um, so at the very least, we should do it correctly. I never, yeah, where does the tomato tomato thing come from? Do the British say it that way? I've never, maybe. Probably, actually. Um, like, obviously, the British use different, what did he send out? Another polyrite, right? Um, obviously, the British use different words for certain situations, but... I was gonna say, please don't hypnosis me again. I was gonna use different words for different situations, but and I'll, of course, there's the fact there's the spelling of they use O U for stuff like color is C O L O U R, where in America it's C O L O R, um, which as someone who 
is American makes sense, but I suppose it also makes sense to them. Um, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Um, just, you know, pronunciation stuff. Uh, the only one that kind of doesn't make sense to me is when they say aluminium. Because I'm pretty sure that's not... Like, if you spell aluminum... Where are you getting the I from? You don't spell aluminum with an I. Um, or like, so aluminium, if you said it aluminium, you would that you would put some, like an I or an E after the N. I don't know which one, one of them. Where are you getting that I or E from? You don't spell it differently in Great Britain. So why do you pronounce it that way? Also, it, huh? Whatever. Um, again, you don't spell it differently, so it doesn't make any sense. That one, that one's just always baffled me. Like you can, everything else makes sense, and also the fact that certain, um, I don't know, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just aluminium, aluminium has always just like been like, huh? That's like the one, the one thing about um, British English. I'm just like, huh? It just doesn't make uh, what? Yeah. Anyway, um. Ugh. But yeah, make sure you call it Rayquaza, or else um, you'll get shot in the head by the secret Pokemon police, or me. I'll do it too, because I, th I think you're being stupid and obstinate if you don't. We'll send assassins after you. You gotta pr pronounce things the correct way, after all. Alright, so we've gone and finished this route. But I want to finish this route below us first. Anything we can finish off down here first. So let's head the southerly direction. Um, amazing. Hello. Uh, is there someone up here who can give me a cool item that I don't can't get because I don't have enough Pokemon? Oh, uh, sure. Thanks. Return. Actually, this is a TM I very much need, because I'm pretty sure this is, speaking of uh, Pidgeot and TMs, um, I'm pretty sure this is the best normal type move Pidgeot can get. And if, uh, where is he? Um, we want a normal type stab. Get rid of Tackle. Uh, I don't know if we're at max friendship. We probably are, if I had to guess. Um, but I know you lose a little bit of friendship when you faint, but we should be at maximum damage or almost maximum damage most of the time. So actually, now with the return, I think returns max power is 102, if I remember correctly. So I would want to do it like this. We still have sand attack, just like I suppose in case. Um, but we'll probably get rid of that once we get the fly. Unfortunately, so later on, once we get to later Pokemon games, once we get like infinite TMs and stuff, we'll be able to give our team a lot more coverage. But for now, Growlithe is not going to have that much coverage. Like our guys aren't going to have that many moves outside of their typing, besides probably just one, maybe maybe two if we're really lucky. That would be full coverage if they're double double typed. Um, yeah, it's hard to get coverage on guys in this Pokemon kind of game, and. Eh, uh, if this was a randomizer, uh, that would not be the case. Uh, but we are not playing a randomizer. So, woe is me. And woe is our team's coverage. Also, I feel like getting TMs is a lot harder in any game where you where the method of getting certain TMs is gambling. Uh. Why? Like, okay, I like the gambling music. Pokemon has some cool music here and there. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Gen 3 music so much for the most part. Like, it's okay and all. But the gambling music, the Pokemon corner or whatever. The Gen, the Gen 4 gambling corner is my favorite. It is so good. The Gen 2... I don't remember what theirs is, I'm going to be honest. Polyway, you know what? How much damage does this do? 
It does flinched amount of damage. That's good. All right, Bubble. Bubble's the weakest water type move. Good. We get to give a full bit of experience to Growlithe. That is everything we're going to be trying to do for the most part. But again, I think everyone down here is a water type trainer, like a fisherman or something. So what can you do? Polywag is the only thing I think Growlithe could stand up against. Maybe if they have a magic card. I suppose they could use water sport because they're stupid. You know, considering the fact that... Okay, wait, no. I guess the water a super effective target Absorb still does more damage because we have a higher special attack stat. Because I'm about to say, so Absorb has base 20 power. 1.5 because of stab, and then times 2 because of super effectiveness at base 60 power. And then acid is base 40 power, plus stab would be 20. So it's 60 versus 60, but we have a higher special attack. So absorb is better on the special attack, or er, super effective targets. I think in every other scenario, acid is better. I don't have surf yet. Eh. Or the Lapras ride from, uh, Gen 7. You know, one of the coolest things about Gen 6 is that a couple certain Pokemon, if you use Surf on them, they show up. And if you use Sharpedo, you go way faster. That's kind of a cool little thing. Like, you don't go slow or anything in Gen 6 Surfing, or Obey Ruby now for Sapphire Surfing specifically, is what I meant to say. Um, but just that cool little tidbit that you get to go really extra fast on Sharpedo is cool. And the, only, I don't, the only reason I know that is because I just happened to use a Sharpedo as one of my Pokemon in my first playthrough of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Sometimes you get cool little stuff like that in Pokemon. Just the most out-of-the-way information that doesn't really help you most of the time. Alright, we're out. What level is Growth again? 23. We're getting there. It's certainly a process. And of course, this the process would be faster, the more Pokemon he can actually fight on his own. Uh, Flail. Doesn't Flail do more... I never use it, but it does more damage to lower your HP, right? So, yeah, use it at full health. That's a great idea. You know, we've been getting pretty lucky with our status ailment moves. I remember we missed a Poison Gas on a Coffee, we missed a Hypnosis on a Poliwag, we missed a Supersonic on our Goldeen. They're getting, giving us the uh, player luck right now, but it's on the AI. Alright, well, Gloom's almost leveled up. I'm pretty sure Golem's also about to level up as well. So... We also have the good rod down here, but we don't need it. We have our full team, so... Yeah, well, there you go. That's our full team. We got Arcanine, final team member, Golem, uh, Alakazam, Blastoise, Pidgeot, and Vileplume. Would I ever think of using Bl Blossom? Probably not. Um, I don't really care about... Um, I don't think Blossom's very good. I think Vileplume is better. Okay, well, we gotta get hit at some point. <laughs> so there is that. Okay, well, we, we did uh, dodge the supersonic. You know, Horn Attack is... Horn Attack is something that Goldeen gets that's kind of nice. Um, it does actually decent damage. Isn't it base 65 power? Just kind of nice to have a non uh your non-stab move even if it's normal that you just get this base 65 power move uh yeah it's a special attack is slowly but surely falling behind hank sure okay um let's then move you down here i more fishermen i don't want there to be too many i kind of want to not fight any more water trainers. I just want to get them knocked out now because this is the best time to fight them. Polybike. Okay, we can... Especially now that we got another level. Also doing, I think, exactly half damage most of the time. 
I get the flinch, it's actually pretty awesome. Horsey, I... Um, ah, he might actually have a water gun. Alright, well, we'll take the risk. But Horsey is way less special defense, clearly, and also he flinched as well. We're getting... We're flinching a lot, actually. This is only like 10% chance, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Shelter has high defense, but not special defense, so... And you know, Bites it's dark... Uh, bites a special attack, because it's dark type. That's... Yeah, okay. Let's see, are they gonna hit five times again? That's three. That's four. Every time we've been attacked by a physical spear, it's been max damage. It's very nice that we have um, bite on this guy. Actually, I have no clue. What are the other two moves on Growlithe? I have not been paying attention. What does he have? Oh, more no wonder. I probably did see them and then completely neglected to give them any attention. So the, man, the only non... Granted, we haven't used non-status, non-attacking moves, but the only non-attacking moves we have that are any good are maybe Flash and Reflect, because, you know, lowering accuracy is cool and Reflect is interesting. Sand Attack is, again, theoretically good. And then Stun Spore is nice. Uh, so... Goldine, huh? I don't know, why don't I have Pidgeotto? Use the new return attack that we just got. Hit him with the power of our friendship, because return is based on the friendship stat. I don't know why you would ever use Frustration. Interesting animation. That was... That's even more like beat up or something. I don't know. I, I, I didn't expect you to slam into that Goldie 10,000 times, Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeotto. I keep seeing Pidgeot. Alright, well, you're not proposing today then, I suppose. Oh, it's a double battle. Uh... Nidorans. Alright, well, Ralph can definitely stay in. Um, and I suppose Golem... 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 Graveler... ...can also definitely stay in. Okay, Magnitude does hit Growlithe, so that is good... I guess good to just see. Alright, so Nidoran female is definitely dead. The question about him is Nidoran male dead. Nope, okay. Uh, what? Helping- whoa, actually? Helping hand in a double battle? I don't- what does Helping Hand do again? Doesn't it boost the power of the next move used by like 50% and it raises the accuracy or something? I don't know. I want to Graveler to level 29, that's cool, I guess. No. I will not- I will not be learning rollout, thanks. What do I look like? I do... I still have Defense Curl on him? I forget. Um, I think so, actually. So I could... I could do the little good old Defense Curl rollout thing, but I don't want to. It does not seem like a thing to do. And there's the Ice Type one, right? Uh, Ice Ball or something? Again, I don't know why you use that one either. Almost no one gets Ice Ball. What, like the Spheal line? And... Alright, well, that's that. Um, the Spheal line and... Maybe Glalie? Uh, well, Snow Run slash Glalie? Maybe? Who the hell else would get Ice Ball? If it's like a nice type... rollout. Again, I don't get messaged on Discord nearly enough to remember to turn stream remote on all the time. I guess that's there now. I get, um, obviously there are certain servers I'm in where I'll get me server-wide messages, but those never make Discord notification sound effects, because I have those servers muted. Actually, wait, maybe they do, it's just they never happen when I'm on, because I'm lucky. Uh, we want to go, uh, no, we can save the tower for later. Well, uh, um, yeah, we'll save the tower for later. We'll do the tower all in one run. So let's go this away then.
Ugh. As soon as we beat the, um... The grass gym leader, we have a lot of stuff we have to do before we fight the next gym leader, uh, poison gym leader after that. A lot of stuff. Hello. Oh wait, right. Not this way. Um, what am I doing? This way, the other underground tunnel. I don't know why they have these. Uh-huh, no, I don't. Uh, do they have, sell any good TMs in the Celadon's apartment store again? I forget. Also, why can't you put the stairs on the same axis? All right, well, Route 7 for all of its nothingness. Is there any items up here? Nope. Lamest route ever, maybe? We're already done. Hello, Team Rocket. Did I kill my Pokemon? Yes. Uh, items? Items? Items. No. I always remember where the Verse Seeker is in this game, but not anything else. Okay, I didn't see a hidden item to the right there. Anything to the left? Yeah. Another ether. That's always nice, mostly for the Elite Four, once we get to that point. Um, I know there's something up here. Isn't it? Oh, wait, isn't this the Eevee? So I don't care. I feel like I should probably use an Eevee Lucian in one playthrough. Yeah. No. Okay, well, I guess we can take it without having an empty party slot, which is nice, but... Um, I don't care. We're not using Jolteon or Vaporeon or Flareon, so... Uh, yeah. Alright, do you have anything, old lady? I know this is an old lady right here, right? Right, right? right. Yeah, I remember correctly. Oh, she's the one with the T? Okay, well, we can now get into... Anything over here? No, no. Anything over here? Um... I think the Game Freak office is right. Uh... Uh... Yeah, no, I don't need the stupid, um... Document or whatever. You give me. Okay, uh... So we can now get into... Nope. This area. He, yes. Can I have this drink? Yes. Cool. We can get now into Saffron, which is nice. I don't know why someone being thirsty keeps you getting out of the city, but... Or in and out of the city. But... Whatever. Oh. Well. Um... So, department store. The only thing I care about is... What TMs do they sell in here again? Can you tell me which floor the department store is on? Or the TMs are. You're useless. Why can't I run indoors? What do you sell? Okay, Roar, Hyper Beam, Dig, Brick Break, Secret Power, Attract. Okay, there is one TM that I care about. <laughs> Wait, I already have Brick Break. Okay, so well, if anyone can learn Brick Break and it's worthwhile for them to learn, then we have infinite, theoretically, of them. We also already have a dig as well. And a roar. Um, okay, so war turtle and graveler. I guess we can teach graveler brick break. So that's normal type coverage, steel type, we already have that. Steel type coverage, rock type coverage, we already have that. Um Okay, normal type coverage, I suppose. Um get rid of Yeah, we're not using defense curl. Um the next move we can forget is rock, um, rock throw if we really need to. Um, do you sell anything else of value here? Oh, counter? No, I don't care. Um... Okay, so we actually do need a Firestone... ...and a Leaf Stone. Not for now, but... ...for later. Actually, I said again, we could check... No. Nope. Oh wait, uh, we need to buy a fresh water. Nope, we need to buy a soda pop and a lemonade. For this girl, right? I'm thirsty, I want something to drink. Give her a drink, yes. Fresh water. Lights, oh, she gives you light stream reflect and...
safeguard. Oh, safeguard. Okay, sure. We'll, we can give you all these. Why not? If they ever come up. Right. Elevator. Okay, um, what was I going to say? Right, uh, Gloom. Uh, Pokemon Gloom. I guess we should also double check. Does Vileplume learn anything post, uh, post Stone Evolution? Because if we, as soon as we get, to, now that we have the stones, as soon as we get to the point where we want to evolve Gloom and Arcanine, we can. But Arcanine's not for a long, long, long time. Uh, so, Gen 3. So the only thing that Vileplume learns is Petal Dance at level 44. Um, oh, wait a minute. Uh, so we don't actually get to learn Mega Drain. That sucks. There is a TM-19 Giga Drain, though. Where do you get TM-19? Please, please tell me it's in this game. TM-19, Generation 3. Thank God. <laughs> we can get Giga Drain. Um, so that's good. Uh, anything else? Sludge Bomb. I don't actually think Sludge Bomb is available until post-game, I don't think. Yeah. Um, anything else? No. Okay, so actually there is no reason... The only problem is Giga Drain is 5... <laughs> and there's not a single other good Grass-type move besides Petal Dance. Are you serious? Oh, we can get Moonlight. All right, we're evolving by uh, Bloom right now, by the way. Um, basically, is what this whole thing has told me. Where's my Leaf Stone that I just bought? All right, let's go. Well, at the very least, Absorb, which I probably need to hold on to Absorb because... Because Giga Drain's only 5 PP. And so I need at least some... There will be probably situations where I want to use more than five grass type moves in between Pokemon centers. I, I can't believe absorbing Giga Drain are the two best grass types we can get two as we can get on Wild Plume. But that's the Gen 1 experience. I guess maybe we'll maybe get Petal Dance eventually. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of Sun Spore. And, and again, this is the nature of having to deal with, first of all, T um, HMs, which don't mind HMs all that much. No, don't care. Um, just wanna see if you have items. Uh, I don't mind dealing with HMs. It's just having to deal with HMs and also the really bad le level upsets and low TM teachability in this game makes it um, hard to. Oh, hey, thanks for the coin case. Um, you guys, I definitely think, don't give me anything. Uh-huh. Oh, is this their benefactor here or something? Uh. What is the point of this building? Um, da, 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 da. you know, the the uh, gym leader is really out of the way for no reason, I don't feel, I feel like. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so... Can I... I know we can get coins from talking to random patrons. I think there's also coins on the ground. How much is flamethrower? And wow, ten whole coins. Twenty coins. Twenty coins. Okay. Um. So how much is flamethrower? No, I don't want any of those. Ice beam. Iron tail. Thunderbolt. Battle Ball. Um, Ice Beam would be nice too. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> ah! Four thousand coins. How much money would that cost? Um, <laughs> a lot. 
a lot, a lot. Um, I don't have... Maybe if I had the amulet coin, which I don't know where you get in this game, that would be feasible. But, oh god, please tell me I can run in the rocket head, um, place. Please? Say yes. It is imperative for me to be able to rock in the, ro in the rocket underground section. Hmm. Yeah! I wish, um, Rowlith had Intimidate instead of... You know, I probably actually probably should have definitely uh, very much should have, um, run around in the grass until, like, ran into a Rowlith with Intimidate instead. But... Uh... At this point, it's whatever. Well, this will definitely give Rowlith a level since it's Eradicate, even if it's four levels below. Well, Rowlet is almost caught up. Almost. We're not quite takedown. Um, I'm not a big fan of recoil moves, but sure. I will have it just in case. Another thing we can use against water types. Even though I don't really, really want to. Nah, I didn't do anything. Hey, you're biting me? I don't want to get flinched. Uh, please, I'm, I'm just, I'm just in such apprehension over, pl please let me run in the underground, please, 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 Uh, yeah, where the hell are you going? Please? Yes. Thank God. Whew. I almost, um, wanted to be very scared. So, question. We actually have a lot of stuff we can do right now. We can go down Bicycle Road. That's not true. Um, I don't think we actually can. We need to get the Silph Scope first to do that, right? Um, because there's a Snorlax in our way. Uh, what we can do, I'm pretty sure, is we can go get Fly. I don't know if we can use it yet, but we can go get it. So what, uh, Jim 1 did was, uh, uh, Flash, Jim 2 was Cut, Jim 3 was, I don't know. Now we fight these numbskulls, huh? Double battles, I don't like double battles. Double battles suck. Oh look, it's, um, young couple Leah and Jed. That Leah Jed is the worst name I've ever heard. Um, and they're level 29. They're also fire types. I will use return on the one that doesn't have flame body. Um, this one. That is fine. I do not plan to status ail you. Rock slide. Return on the other one. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna do anything. It, it, yes, congratulations. Oh, fire. Okay, well, you missed. I was gonna say, fire spin could be annoying, but. Don't miss. Okay. Good job. Alright, well, that's why we have a rock type. For situations like that one, I suppose. I think it was a decent amount of experience, um, but I guess we gotta wait until we see Graveler again. Do you give me anything? Good effort. Uh-huh. I want fly. Gimme. No, gimme. Thanks. Uh, again, I don't know if I can use this yet. But we're still going to teach it to Pidgeotto, just because. Uh, fly. And we will get rid of... Man attack. We are, we are slowly but surely... I'm pretty sure Fly has a slightly higher power in later games, but uh, I cannot quite remember. Yes, okay. Teach me Fly. Um, I, I guess let's see if we can use it. 
Indeed we can. Well... Why does it show that Route 16 isn't this long? That is not true whatsoever. You know, you could just move this Route 17 over a bit and it would still make sense. Why does it make the healing sound effect? I don't remember that at all. Well, we got access to fly, that's cool. Um, we can go back and get things if we're like, oh, we unlock Surf. We unlock... I think Surf is the only one left in this game, to be honest. Uh, there's Rock Smash, but that's... Oh no, we have to do the Sebi Islands. Like, I mean... We don't have to. But I feel like we should at least do the main... The pre-champion ones. We're not doing the post-game, like I said. Alright, I think we should do the... Gym Leader now? Maybe? It's definitely a chance to get Arcanine or Growlithe caught up. This line is taken out in later games, aka in HeartGold and SoulSilver specifically, and probably also Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but I don't- haven't played that one. I don't- haven't played that one. <sighs> yeah, anyway. Ye- B- okay, so... I remember, um... So... I talk about the Pokemon manga. I think in the ori the original the first arc, the red, blue, and green arc, I recall that um I get one the so the Grashin was always like just like a woman's club or something. Um and then Red's like, I wanna fight the gym leader. Um and they're like, You're not allowed to come in, you're a man. I'm like, um you're a gym leader. You need to be available for the trainers to fight. What do you mean you're not allowed to come in? It was always kind of bit that, that that part was always strange to me. I guess you can wait for Erica to come outside and then ambush her when she leaves. She can't be in the gym all the time. Though, from what my understanding is, is gyms are usually not just the facility for battling. It's also usually like a house for the gym leader. So it, maybe she could. Um, I got paralyzed. Great. Nope, not. Why was it on Pidgeot? Oh, because I get. Nope. Don't play the little animation. I don't care. Now, fight me. I demand experience for my fire type. So that I can. <laughs> 44! <laughs> that is so frustrating. Please, please tell me we're at least at level 44 before we get to the champion. I don't remember what the champion's final. Like the levels we're gonna be at when we do the Elite Four, but it's gotta be higher than 44. It's cool. Please don't use a static ailing thing on me. Okay, you did, but you missed. I appreciate the, um. The not hurt, not status ailing me. I, I, it's very much a. Uh. Um, I don't know. A karmic move. Oh, I should, I should have seen what our special attack compared to our attack was. I'm getting fidgety again. Okay, at least we one-shot Bellsprout. It, yeah, it would be nice if our Ember was actually one-shotting people. Especially these Oddishes. And the Executes when those inevitably show up. I know it's like base, it's like 75% accuracy, so it's more likely than not that I'm gonna get hit, but still. Uh, I don't want to deal with paralysis. I want to just ember these fools. I don't know if I'm paral paralyzed. If I'm paralyzed, I can't get poisoned. Yeah, whatever. We'll just stay paralyzed until the end of the battle, since we should also one-shot this spell sprout. But then I can get away with sometimes not taking any damage because I one-shot them. It's a possibility. Can I get Flame Wheel, please? This would solve my problem. Hmm. They're not that expensive, so that's not that that's not a problem. If I unless I want to save up money for I suppose what I could be trying to do is I could it's either a race. Do I get to 44 first, or can I somehow save up enough money to be able to buy a flamethrower? Because we're not we're, I'm not playing the slot machines. I don't care. I'm not and I'm also not very good at them. If I get Flame Wheel, though, I'd probably not be... Let's 
So, I don't know, he's 24. Okay, but he still does not have enough special defense or HP to deal with my attack. More experience for me. And another Brawl Sprout, I'll take it. Go down, like the one before you. I think, so, once, so Pokemon, the Pokemon, um, Pokemon, uh, Gen 1 is semi, like, the only Pokemon game that's kind of non-linear, because you have to fight the first Gen layer, and you have to fight the second Gen layer, but you could skip, realistically, you could skip, uh, Lieutenant Surge for a long time if you wanted to. You could also skip Erica for a long time, I think, if you wanted to. So, and then you could... So you could fight the... No, okay. So you could fight in this order. Rock, Water, Skip Grass, Skip Psychics, do Poison, Fire. So you could do the 7th Gym Leader 4th if you wanted to. Which is the kind of funniest thing about this game. I don't know why you would. Then you kind of make the mistake of not fighting the gym when you would have the most interesting fight, if potentially possible. You trivialize some of them. Please, 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 Flame Wheel. I, okay, wait, no, we just got takedown, didn't we? Uh, I don't think we get Flame Wheel until something like level 33. So it's gonna be a little bit. Tina, well, you're gonna. I do. I do very much appreciate though that this gym has a lot of trainers, so it gives me the opportunity to get Gralitha a lot of experience. We kill all of them before having to go back because I'm almost out of embers. Oh hey, this is the first uh, cool trainer we've seen. Are they not ace trainers in this game, or are they also ace trainers? I don't remember. All right, well, I do like Bellsprout. Bellsprout is something I love to see. Oddish, not something I love to see. This guy has this poke that five Pokemon. Uh, Please, I don't. No. Bite. One damage. Re damage. That means you probably got one health back. Because I think it gets rounded down. Oh. Right, three damage again. 25% chance. Horse, because she got two absorbs in. What? Did this trainer just use a super potion? Do not be paralyzed again. Alright, after this Oddish is dead, we are going to be sending out Pidgeotto. Unless there's a bell sprout, um, in which case I'll send Growlin back out. Please, it's a twenty. Okay, beat up. Weeping Bell. Okay, never mind. Uh, actually, no, we'll save for this. I don't think he has absorb. He does have growth though. Oh, we got a crit. That's nice. All right, well that was rewarded. Twenty-five. We got fully paralyzed four out of what five or six times. Gloom? Okay, this is not gonna work, but I'm gonna try. All right, we got the burn, which is nice. You know what? Sp yeah, speed up. I don't care. Okay, uh... We'll swap out. Just, let's not take stupid risks. This is the this isn't a Pidgeotto you've seen before. Even though Fly has something like 90 or 95% accuracy. I could have just used Darial Ace, but why not? We just got Fly, let's use it. Alright, well, Growl is on par with our people who aren't level 29 yet, so he is all caught up. 
Good stuff. All right, well, I gotta go heal Growlithe, so there is that. Let's move. So if, if Flash, Cut, Surf, and Fly are the only HMs I can think of, and Rock Smash, but Rock Smash we don't get until way later. Um, and Rock Smash isn't required to beat the game in Kanto. Um, um, so again, Brock does Flash, Misty is Cut, Lieutenant Surge is Fly, Erica is... Maybe maybe she's Rock Smash, I don't know. Um, I know Koga's Surf. Um, uh, there's no other HMs. There's no Waterfall. No Whirlpool. No Defog. No Rock Climb. No, um, anyone, any other ones that I'm forgetting about? Not that I can think of. Oh, uh, strength. Is strength in this game again? I forget. I think so. So if that's the case, um, uh, maybe Erica's strength? Erica's uh, strength. So, okay. There are only three good HM moves from my experience. Again, some of them get upgrade. uh, like, I think, um... I think Cut gets updated once it's no longer an HM. But when they're- when they are still HMs, the only good HM moves are Strength, because it's a base 80 power normal type move. That's- you can kind of throw that on anyone who's a physical attacker, and it's just kind of nice to have. Please, my god! Why are we doing this still? Strength is good, and then Waterfall and Surf- er, Waterfall and Surf are both good. You put the Waterfall- well, if you're doing a playthrough and you got Water and Water Pipe, you put Waterfall on, and Surf on them both. Excuse me. But Waterfall is good for your physical water attackers, and Surf is good for your special water attackers. Now, obviously, Surf is more powerful, so if you have a special water attacker, it's a bit better, but it goes both ways. It's fine. Okay, we're... Fuck you and your paralysis. We're... Yeah, and that's why. You know what? You're just one last trainer. We'll fight through the paralysis. You also only have one Pokemon, so... Let's get out of here, and then let's go... Let's fight a gym leader. We have to do... We started to start the stream with a gym leader, and... We will... Not quite end the stream with a gym leader, but pretty close to the end. Granted, it's a pretty long walk from Lieutenant Surge to, uh... From Lieutenant Surge to, um, Erica. Uh, to... <laughs> Koga. Oh, boy. So... We have a lot to do before we're going to be fighting Koga. We have to do the entire rocket thing. We have to do the Lavender Town Tower. We have to do both the left and right sides down to the Poison Gym Leader City. That's going to take a while. So, and then post... Okay, but then after, right after Koga, you can go do Sabrina, so... Um... So, we'll be able to do Koga, but it'll be a long time before we do Koga, but then as soon as we do Koga, we go to Sabrina. Um, yeah. I don't think there's anything you can do after Koga. We can go to the power plant real quick if we wanted. I don't think that's a good idea. But we could. Alright, um... I have a fire type and a flying type. And a psychic type for your poison type grass types. So grass is one of the weakest types defensively. Grass and bug put together is a disaster. <laughs> Wait, isn't that her ace? Or is Wild Flip her ace? I forget. Um, bleeding with victory bell, huh? There is some justice in this world. I was hoping for... Okay, the Sun Spore is annoying, but yes! The burn! Thank you! You're not gonna get to heal this person at one health. Or two health, probably. Kindla. Uh, yeah, we can save for this. I don't mind. We should definitely do two-shot... Oh, ingrain. Um, doesn't ingrain mean that you can't be forced out? I think.
She'll probably heal him. Yeah, please do not get paralyzed. Please, 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 please. Come on, Rowlith. Yes. All right. We're out at 29 now once we kill Tangela. Uh, we'll swap out for the last one into Pidgeotto. You know, Pidgeotto is going to be a level low Rowlith, so we get to finally actually do stuff like that. Constrict. Oh, no. Constrict. Oh, it was a critical hit. I am so scared. Is Constrictor Wrap better? I don't know. I think what I definitely know one of them's like base 10 power and the other's base 15. So, you know. Bioplume? Okay, yeah, Bioplume's the ace. Man, it's been a while since we've used anyone but Growlithe for the most of stuff. Oh, they're both level 29, huh? See ya. Man, when you have when you have two or three Pokemon that just trounce your opponent. A gym leader. They are so fucked because they only have one type of Pokemon. It's kind of why the Elite Four and all of them are kind of Elite Four gym leaders are all kind of dumb. I wish we if you guys see a Pokemon game where I swear if we get fully paral paralyzed when we're up in the air, it's gonna be so annoying. Okay, let's uh. Cool. Okay. I was, I was like, I'm not wasting my time again. But anyway, what's the thing? If we need to get a, a um, Pokemon game, which getting a good one like this would be impossible because, again, I've said po post Gen 7, I'm not super. Um, Alright, what's the, what, which AHM does she say we can use? Strength. Okay. So we can use Strength. I don't remember where we get it. Um, Giga Drain! Alright, we can give that to Vileplum now. Uh, no, shut up. Uh, item bag, TM case. Anything else cool? No. Uh, Giga Drain. The only other move that I saw that Vileplum could learn was, um, Solar Beam. Yeah, we're gonna teach Vileplume Solar Beam. That's a great idea. Yes, we're forgetting some... We're going to eventually... Just because I want coverage, we are going to eventually end up with zero status ailing moves, or stat move changing moves, or anything. Coverage is way more important. Or actually being able to have enough grass-type moves that actually do anything. So there's that, too. Um, anyway, uh, actually... I do believe... It's a little early. But I do believe I will be ending my stream here, because it actually does feel quite satisfying to end on a... Start with a gym leader and end on a gym leader, and then leave the stupid rocket out for next stream. Um, because I could start doing the rocket hideout right now, but I'm gonna stop, stop after a bit, so there is that. Uh, but hey, we're making progress, we're making progress, we're way done with the gym leaders, even though the stuff after Erica I think takes longer. Because we, what, so we have to still do, if you look at the map, we still have to do all of Saffron. We still gotta go all along this rest of Route 12, Route 13, Route 14, Route 15. We gotta do Route 18, 17. Um, we gotta do all of Fuchsia. We gotta do the Safari Zone. We gotta do... We don't have to do... We don't have to do Route 21 or... Well, I suppose we don't have to do Route 20 slash Seafone Islands, but we're gonna. Um, so we gotta do Route 21, 20, Seafone Islands, Cinnabar, the Mansion, um, the Sevi Islands, um, Route 22, 23, Victory Road, Indigo Plateau. So we still got more than half the game, I'd say. Uh, but we're, we're, you know, we're trucking along. It's all good old Pokemon. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Um, I'm going to, uh, do this. Don't look at the bottom of the corner. Um, and say, well, a good stream. Um, we will be back not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. So we will be back Thursday for a brand new game that, again, is something I played before. We're still kind of, under, like I said, we're still playing a lot of games that I've played before. But I will say the game after we played, the, whatever game we finish between this game and the next game, probably this game, to be fair. Um, 
is a new game that I have not played before. So next game, next stream will be Thursday with new game that I have played before, which is fine, but whatever. Anyway, um, nice stream. Good progress. We got our full team now, which is nice. And yeah. The bell covers it. Anyway, I'll see you around and see you on Thursday. Have a nice evening and bye-bye.